I don't know what you had. I don't know what you had. Good. All right. Can't believe it's been a week already. Because I, I believe at the end of the last episode, I said I'll see you in a week. Man, that was. A... Yeah, I said see you next week. <laughs> yeah. Phew. Just fast, like that. Fast week. Uh, is everyone in? Yeah. Okay. Good. I forgot to check that. Power movie man. Let me actually make sure my mic's working too. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I mean, Josh is playing cards. So, Justin sent me these weird cards. I actually stole them, air quotes. They were above his, his profile picture, and then they got stuck over my profile picture, so now I'm holding five cards. I don't want to cite that. Get out of here. Um, I have them pulled up. My secret tool. Okay. Cool. So last week, uh, I ended the last episode with a giant rock hurling towards you guys. So let's resolve that real quick. Should we roll for the initiative? Uh, no, it's uh, the rock is not sentient, so you don't need to roll for initiative. I do need, I do need you guys to roll a reflex save though. God damn it! Andrew's apparently reflex. big into reflex saves. Yep. Yep. Oh yep. my god. <laughs> What is yep. this? <laughs> what the hell? I hate this. I hate this so much right now. Oh my lord. I hate this so much right now. Alright, the other person. Come on, Scott. <laughs> wow. Three 20s, a 19, and a 3. <laughs> oh, oh, I've never seen three natural twenties in a row. That is unbelievable. Oh my god! I'm so I'm so fucking mad. <laughs> so we're all just like, ah, oh, a rock. We dart out of the way, and Scott's just, yeah, there just there. standing there. <laughs> like, where's everyone going? Like, I'm I'm two perception. Two Perception. Perception. It is a stone rock, but it's not a perception check. It's a reflex save. Okay. Yeah, you gotta see that stone. Well, lucky for you guys, you guys' reflexes are... Cat-like. Beyond cat-like. You're supernatural. As this giant boulder comes crushing through and lands on top of L6A just destroys that building and then slides across the ground because like I said it's raining slides across across the ground and crushes L6B as well so this whole area just gets leveled into rubble nice so I just uh, it was for dramatic effect oh we passed also you're also in the front of the group like the farthest away so Cicatrix and uh, Cicatrix is the one that's closest to getting squished, and uh, Nat Twenty is uh, plenty good. So, what's your reflex bonus? Oh, I thought I it was. Know where that is. I thought it was each of us individual, it's, uh, so that we were all gonna be fine, and Scott was gonna be <laughs> plus three. I mean, I I wanted you guys to roll it that way. You guys felt like you were in danger, but little GM secret, there was no danger. It was just for dramatic effect. So. There you go. Oh, I just pulled behind the Wizard of Oz money. curtain. Waste it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe oh, that's just gonna be like the start of how today's gonna go. At the end. It's just. The end of everything good. Okay. okay. So you guys wanna after hearing this huge, huge explosion and just dust and debris flying everywhere, the rock was not on fire, so. It just comes to a screeching halt uh, towards the end of where L6B was, and it sh kind of shatters to pieces. So there's just a bunch of rubble and rock and debris. Uh, you didn't hear any screams of all the orcs that just got pancaked, but uh, if you guys like flapjacks, there you go. <laughs> L6C is fine, though. Okay. So uh, what you guys do? You guys are approaching this tower. Um, you guys just want to walk up to it and. Go from there. Anything you guys want to do yeah, ahead yeah. of time? Heal? What uh, not? Uh, no, no, no. no. Or, uh, do a perception check. I also want to do a perception check. What? We should do a perception check on it. Solid. Solid. I also will perceive the massive tower in front of me. Alright, well, I've, I've participated. <laughs> oh, 27. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so with the 27, uh, you definitely start hearing that, that those war drums banging from the top. The doom, 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 doom. 
coming uh, from you know for sure it's coming sure from sure this right. tower like it, it's definitely coming yeah. from atop the tower uh, uh the tower itself tower is tower. not super not tall because you're already pretty high, high off the high ground off. it's like three like or four stories off. but uh, uh it's it's not like it's not like a huge spire it's just a it's just a watchtower um you also uh, notice that the front that door has a bunch of like slash marks on it and looks like the door is slightly propped ajar enough where you could probably stick your eyes in there and see kind of like half the room if you would like to do that would you like me to sneak in uh scott since this is your little side quest that we're doing yeah felt like i snuck in the door okay so uh what's your guys's party order for here because i guess i'll be in the front the left door is the one that's closed. The right door is the one that's propped ajar. So it'll be single file if you guys are going to try to sneak open and sneak in through this one door. So what's the order? Um, we'll have uh, at the entrance of the left door or at the entrance of the right door. All behind, all be behind the rock. Like this? No, don't let Jared be in the back. Don't let Jared sit in the back. Yeah, I'm going the back again. No, I think like behind them, like closer down. Okay. Is this is this good order for you guys? Are the doors? Yeah. Are the doors what? Are they like straight or at an angle? So yeah, so the. It, the yeah, door, it's like the whole tower itself is rounded, but at the front, it's kind of flattened out a little bit for the doors. So the doors are just big rectangle doors. There's nothing nothing fancy okay. about them. Let's go. Okay, so before we do anything... Oh. I'm not, I'm not going to count that. You're lucky dog, because I said it before. Wow. You know. Wow. Uh, if you guys scroll down the map to... Like, if you take the little slide bar and scroll straight down to the left, you'll see that I already have... The levels drawn? Like all the way down. Yeah, all the way down the bottom. I already have the levels down, and I actually made duplicates of your guys' pawns and placed them down here. Cool. So I'll go ahead and reposition you guys in the order that you had. So is there only two floors is what you're saying, or is there three? Two floors One. that you can tell. You guys know there's a, there's a ground floor and the top floor, so there's potentially more. Gotcha. I just I just drew two. That way you guys can understand. It. Like This is how the layouts of the towers are. So there's... There's a... Uh, Go ahead and roll a. Uh, are you trying to do a sneak to like open sneak open the door, or are you trying to do a perception check? Sneak open the door. All right. Quietly open it. Let's see it. Are you lucky? Plus, dog? plus uh, eight. Should have taken yeah. that five. All right. Plus eight. So there's a twenty-three. Twenty-four. Plus eight. Oh yeah, it's plus eight. Okay. Sorry, I can't do math apparently. All right. So yeah, you uh, Orak, just. Gently uh, opens the door, and because it's raining, the uh, water kind of acts as like a like the sound of the rain kind of blocks the sound and kind of makes the hinges unlubricated or lubricated, so it just slides open. So I'm going to actually move this door and kind of work. There we go, and this one's closed. There we go. Okay. Okay. So you kind of open the door, and inside you see several things. So go ahead and roll a perception check, and I'll roll over your sneak uh, score to give you a little bit of a bonus. Okay, you don't need it. Rolling rocks over here. All right, so a couple things. I never did look this up, so... Let's see if I can get a cool pawn. You see... Quite a few Quite dead, dead soldiers, soldiers lying on the ground. <laughs> Who is having a rave over there? Is that is that Joey? Is there any good city guard? Mm. Does that look not terrible? This looks pretty good. Mm. All right, you All see right. quite a few. <laughs> These guys are all dead. Oops. Hmm. 
Alright, kind of clipping a little bit, but that's okay. So you see these, you see at least three dead guards, and you also see three orcs. Kind of sitting about in a circle talking to each other. Like so. Hey guys, there's three three enemies in the building. They do not see you. So the door the door is open and they have they have not noticed the door swinging open yet. Scott, do you wanna keep going for uh lock now? Do you wanna keep going and engage or do you wanna run away? I think we should continue to the top to find out what the drums are. If it's enemy drums, then we, we should probably have them stop. See if that, you know, the assault. So do you want me to try and leash them outside, or do you want me to try and engage them inside? Uh, I think our best option would be... I mean, not, you can't really sneak and kill any of them, so maybe just like mm -hmm. Joey busting open the left door and we just mm -hmm. do like mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what was that? Bust open the left door and then just charge in like, and kill them. Open the left door and then just go okay. in and attack. Alright, I'll ready my bow then. Okay. Alright, so All right. you, uh, you guys wanna, you wanna just take like a, I'll give you a bonus round if you wanna take a uh, sneak shot at it. Can I take a sneak shot? Yeah. Uh, during my bonus round, can I prepare Scar Shield or use it on myself? Sure. Sure. I'll give everybody. I'll give everyone here a uh, a free bonus round. You can either do a standard action or a move action, but not both. Can I do rapid fire? Uh, that's a full round action, so no. Okay. So you just want to take a shot? I'll take a shot. Okay. Or uh, I'm going to I'm going to take a five step five foot step backward and then shoot. Sure. Okay. So uh, before you do that, though, we got to roll for initiative as this is a combat. But you guys will all get to move first, and we'll just skip over their initiative roll as they are unawares. Ooh, it's pretty good. Oh my gosh! Rocks. Another natural twenty for Joey. Jeez. I have only rolled natural. Oh, that's no, not true. Never mind. <laughs> That's me. Okay. So, I don't. Is there a bone? No, there's not. Uh, oh, there is. It's under your health. If you have I any. Just, I, 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 I have zero. zero. <laughs> Anything. Uh, mine's plus six. That is one fast mask, dude. Okay, okay so no, give everyone give me. I'm going to write down your guys' names, and everyone give me your initiatives. So, one second. It's weird not writing Y slash P. Yeah, way to rub it in. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'll just go in order that I written down. So, Orak, what was your initiative after modifiers? Seven. Okay. Uh, Kabor? Uh, six. Okay. Eleven. I thought. Doesn't he have a plus six? I have a plus six. What's, yeah, what's... Uh, I thought J Jared Laura had a plus, a plus six. One to initiative? No, he has a plus six. Yeah, so he's so eleven. So you have eleven. Okay. Say I, was say, he was, I thought he was just as fast. Uh, Valinor, what'd you get? Twenty-one. Holy crap. Guess we know who's going first. Uh, Cicatrix, what'd you get? Nine. Lockdown, you got uh -huh. eleven? Mm -hmm. Okay, and the orcs got a secret number. Okay, so I get to go even before myself. Yeah, so Valnar, you get the first on uh, the bonus round. So, what would you like to do? 
There's not really much you can do since you're kind of pinned. Oh. You gotta you kick have, in the door. You don't have to do anything. Uh, in the bonus round? Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here. Yeah, so we're sure. Trying to sneak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you can set your shield down and try and like funnel them in, so they have to like either go through your shield or through the open door. There's only one door open. The other door's closed. Yeah, you can like. When he busts in, like, place his shield down. Yeah, but this is the yeah. bonus round, so if he busts in, then that'll, that'll alert them. Yeah, so that's what I, that's why I don't want to do it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, oh. Oh, never mind. Alright, so next is Kabor. So for the bonus round, you have to go with... Yeah, you guys go in order of initiative. It's just you guys, I'm skipping over the... The orcs. So you guys don't know when they're when when so, the initiative they are. So, 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 I can't take a step back and now Orak takes his place. No, so yeah, since since uh, Orak rolled so low, he's actually going last. So his shot will be the very last thing of the bonus round. Kind of unfortunate. That makes sense though. That yeah. gets every, that get lets everyone. That, yeah, everyone does uh, himself. Yeah. Yeah, I can spark it off. Uh, Kabor is major armoring. Oh, good idea. Now that, I believe, lasts for a whole minute, right? right. Or multiple minutes. So that's ten rounds? So, yeah, so if you guys get done with this combat quickly enough and go up to another floor, if there's another fight, then that'll still be on. Cool. So, he'll be, I think it's a plus two to AC for significant Plus four? Time. Plus four? Yep. Why did I why did I let him get that spell? That's ridiculous. Okay. Um after Kabor is Lock Molly. Um I will cast Sanctuary on Orak. Ooh, nice. Alright, that's a pretty wicked spell. Does that only last for one round? Um all just he knows what it is. Um I I ward I warn you with the death of my god, any opponent attacking the targets must make a will save. Ten spell levels of wisdom. If they succeed, the attack goes through. If they fail, the attack is behind the block. Their action will and they can attack the target for the duration. Yeah. the target may not attack. Oh, so Yeah, if you put cast sanctuary, that's what I was saying. If you cast sanctuary on Orok, he also can't attack back. Sanctuary essentially right. makes it so that way you, you're like getting divine peace. Then I will cast it on the Okay, I'm just well in the top left corner, uh what's the duration? After it says SA, what's the duration? I don't have it. Oh, one round flash level. Okay, so that means it'll last three rounds. So if he gets attacked in the first three rounds, then the sanctuary will trigger. Okay. Pretty sweet. Um, Sickatrix, you're next. Uh, yeah, I'm doing uh, Scar Shield. Okay, that's right. And then Orok, go ahead and make your five foot step and take your shot. Are you aiming at the Orok just straight in front of you? Yes, sir. All right. Let's pop it off. Oh, shit, hey, toss me a pencil. Plus Dex and plus BAB, correct? Uh, I believe so. So Dex is 2 and BAB is 3, so 19. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, that's uh, a natural hit. 19. It's <laughs> not natural. Unnatural 19. No, that is a pregnant That's what 19. I said, unnatural 19. It's a very pregnant 19. Go ahead and roll damage. Very pregnant. <laughs> Oh yes, you're three, impreg you're impreg three plus dex. Yeah. Yeah. So five. All right. In my little label thing, I have that label under orc two. So that would you say five damage? Yes, sir. All right. So this all these guys are just sitting here chatting in orcish and all of a sudden you this year foop and this guy just gets drilled right right below the neck and like right at the shoulder 
and uh, he is extremely injured. So let's get right, roll right back into combat. So <laughs> Valinar, you're up. These guys are freaking out. What's happening? Oh my gosh, Scott got another phone call. I I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Because every time you call it interrupts this voice voice gentleman. So <laughs> uh, Valar, do you just want to go while uh while he deals with that? We'll just kinda of talk over. Uh uh I don't really think I want to do anything. You can attempt to open the door <laughs> oh if you want. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. What a wuss. What do I do? Open the door and then they just have more getting to us? Uh, like, fl run a f like, run around them, run a flank with your tower shield, stand there and just let us... Well, I don't know. Something. It opens the line of sight up for your spellcasters who are behind you. All right, I will. So, opening the door would take a move. Opening the door would be your standard action. And then, you can still establishing move. the tower is a move, right? Yeah, I believe as a move action, you can drop the tower shield, and it essentially acts like a wall. So, so, so if I did that and then put my shield down, nothing would. Essen yeah, essentially it wouldn't change anything except the door would technically be open. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to kick down the door. Alright, go ahead and uh, roll a strength check for me, please. What's your strength modifier? Uh, one. Alright, that's just <laughs> enough to open the door. <laughs> so you, you kick open the door. And then establish your tower shield. Well, no, because then Kabor couldn't shoot around it. That would just kind of defeat yeah. everything. I mean, so, his AC is f plenty. Yeah, so I'm just gonna I'll stand. Yeah, I'll, st I'll just stay here. Sure. Sure. All right. So after that, it's actually the orc's turn. I also rolled a natural twenty on my initiative. Hooray. <laughs> hey, you guys were rolling a bunch of nat 20s. I think I'm due for that. On all, on all garbage shit, like the reflex thing that didn't even matter. Hey, it was for story purposes. That matters. <laughs> Gotta feel entrenched. Alright, so the first person to go is actually this guy by the staircase. He's going to turn around and haul it up the stairs. So he's up and gone. So I'm just going to move him over here. Just remember that I ran a guy up there. But he is no longer he's no longer in sight, so he just hightails it out of there. Uh, orc guy number two is actually going to kind of stumble a little bit as he just got shot. And kind of take a five foot step and turn around, and he is going to attempt to throw this javelin that he had at his side at Orok. Oh yeah, that's pretty can, close enough. Can I catch it and throw it back at him? Uh, you can catch it with your face, and that's uh, funny. You're, you're funny. You're funny. Yeah, so, uh... You're funny. Let's go ahead and roll. Oh, uh, yeah, that... He, he chucks it, but due to the, just the arrow being just shot into him in his fear, he just hits right above the doors and just clanks and falls straight to the ground. It's like one of the worst throws you've ever seen. And then the other orc over here... He's also going to take his javelin, and he is going to chuck it straight at Valinor. Good thing he ready to. I knew somebody was going to do that. Good thing you ready to. I knew that was going to happen. I just, I was like, if I don't mention it, nobody will do it. Of course. I knew you just read my message. Oh, I can't. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
All right. Uh, it's a 16 to your AC, which I'm pretty sure is a miss. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> is that a 16 a miss? I'm so happy. Joey, this is to you, by the way. Wait. I chucked a javelin at your face, but I only rolled a 16. Is that good enough? Oh. Sorry? No. All right. I, I, I didn't <laughs> no. think so. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... I was preoccupied. I'm sorry. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> I can't delete it either. This is terrible. <laughs> Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> Children. All right. Uh, next is Kabor. I'm going to go ahead and write down the initiative here since we uh, already know it. Showed man. Showed man! <laughs> He's going to acid splash. All right. All right. Uh, go ahead go and ahead. I believe that's a ranged attack, if I'm not mistaken. Go ahead and roll a d20. Which one are you chucking at that? I think it's only a five foot square splash. Because if not, then you'd hit both of them. Do you want to check the card for me, Justin? See what the. Uh... He's doing it on the closest one to us. One not next to the stairs. The one next to the stairs? Yeah, the one next to the stairs is the one that got shot me with an arrow. Is there a little arrow no. thing that I can give him? Is it joke? It's like he got shot by an arrow. Here we go. <laughs> shot in the buttocks. <laughs> He's got a target on him. <laughs> it says, is, is there a, a saving, or does he have to hit this, or is it? Yeah, so it's a, I believe it's a ranged touch attack, so he has to roll to hit. Okay. Ah, dang it. Uh, yeah, that yeah, is a that miss. Is a... Their touch Their AC, AC is pretty is terrible, terrible, but that is even That's... worse. So you go to chuck this, this chuck this acid, but uh, you just can't see very well with the rain and with Valinar being right in front of you, and it just splashes right in front of them. Um, anything else you want to do? Not really a whole lot since it's pretty pretty tight space over here. Okay. So after that is Loch Um. Get on in there, boy. Oh, I forgot to do the sanctuary thing on uh, Joey. We'll have to do it next time. Yeah, Joey, you can attack. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I'll just stand here. With I mean, dick. he could attack. It just dispels sanctuary. Oh. So, you're fine. Um, it's not a... I don't think we need that spell if... Uh, if we're surprising them. Yeah, it's also two against five. It's like counterintuitive to what we're doing. <laughs> Alright, All right, I'm going to... I can't, I can't do, do this myself, myself so somebody, somebody else can do it. Do what? I would like to move here. You can you can move through your allies to that space if you'd like. Yeah, can I move here? I can't move here. Yeah, I got you. And then I would like to roll a perception check. Yeah, sure. Oh my god. Pretty ballsy dwarf. <laughs> Let me just stand here and take a peek at it. <laughs> uh, uh, Whoa! Whoa! Plus five and plus two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I get to know if there's any <laughs> stone, stone things. things. Yeah, well, with yeah. your stone cunning? Yeah, there's no yeah. secret yeah. stone doors in this tower, as you'd be able to see them, because it's a tower. And or there could be stuff leading to the basement. basement. There's no basement. <laughs> and you also don't even realize that there's orcs in the room. You're just so bewildered with the stone. You're just entranced by it. You're like, man, this is some great craftsmanship. I just love it. This is walk in here with these enemies right there, and you're just bewildered by the stone. <laughs> Next is Sigatrix. I mean, uh, while uh, 
<laughs> like Nolly's like gawking, yeah, gawking, yeah, gawking, yeah. And then, then turns around and yells, "Orcs!" <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to cast slumber on that one. Sure. So I believe I just have to roll a save, right? Yes. What's the DC of the save? Um, whatever. It's is it 13, 14? What was it? I forget what it was. was I think it was, was like it? 10 plus a spell level plus, plus your int, right? Yeah, but it's a hex. Um, hmm. Let me let me go grab the... Actually, I guess I can just type it here because the book's behind me. It's the only book I don't have. Oh, I cannot spell. I don't want to reveal what class you are, but uh, I cannot spell. I already did. Wow, oh, okay. Well, what did you... Yeah. I didn't say anything. Um, there you go. Right there. Yeah, um... Stay 10 sure plus there. half of my level plus my int. Okay. okay. So, you're level 3, so we round down, so that's plus 1. So, 11 plus your int, which is plus 3, right? 3, yeah. So, 14. 14. Okay, which is what I thought. Alright, right. so <laughs> I'll roll this so you guys can see it. Is this a will save? Yes. So I gotta tell you, orcs, orcs, not very not willful. willful. <laughs> <laughs> Was it DC 14? Yeah. I have a I minus don't... one to will for an exactly a 14, which passes. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I instantly cast a spell? No. No. Not your turn. So, uh, this guy yeah, appears to get a little drowsy, drowsy, but he, he just kind of shakes it off and is, is focused. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, that was scary. I don't like that. Uh, next is Orok. I'm going to shoot another arrow. That same guy? Yep. All right. He's got a big old target on him, literally, this time. Can you do rapid shot? He can do rapid shot. I'm not going to, though. Yeah, he's uh, probably... So, plus five. Sixteen. So yeah, that's a hit. Woohoo! Plus two, so six. All right. Uh, so you you recognize from fighting earlier that this guy has fallen into his his ferocity state. So he is ferocious and has two arrows sticking out of him. All right, so we roll back around now to Valinar. What would you like to do? <sighs> Defend this dumbass dwarf in here. I mean, All right, so if I, he gets an attack of opportunity, right? Uh, yes, because he's paying attention. So yeah, he would. If you walk into his range, he would get a free attack on you. Not like it matters. And uh, yeah, do I still have my full AC under an attack? Yes, you have your full AC. Yeah, your shield's out. You just have a minus two to hit, remember? But you, yeah, your AC is still ridiculous. That's only a minus one. But it's only a minus one. Right, yeah, it's a net minus one because he has a Masterwork Sword. Correct. And you can't attack. Wait, and my AC is... What is the tower shield bonus again? Um, I'll look it up. It's something insanely high. It's like plus four? Plus five. 40. Plus 40. Yeah, his AC is 57. His, the shield bonus is plus four, but I thought you said there was like a bonus to AC too. Yeah, so it adds a plus four to your AC. Wasn't there a plus two to something else? A minus two to combat. Oh. Oh. But it's a minus one. But it's a minus one because you have a. Yeah, that's just on attack rolls. But like your AC is plus four, so it gives you a plus four bonus to your AC. So essentially, it's like the mage armor spell that you constantly have up. Yeah. Okay. And you also. So I'm gonna do that. All right. I'll let you roll. Uh. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'll let you guys see this. Oof. Pretty good, but I don't think that's good enough. Let me check. Uh, actually, yeah, he does not have his sword drawn yet. 
<laughs> so, so yeah, yeah, he misses. He misses. That's just a straight seventeen. He essentially tries to punch you in the face. <laughs> Very close. Yeah, and then I will right, we'll attack as well. All right, he can. He can. Yeah. So just give it to sanctuary. This is gonna break sanctuary. Well, All right, so right, that, that is a five. five. That is a miss. Well, plus his strength though, and his BAB, right? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your What's your strength? Yeah, but is? one and BAB is four. Your BAB is four? No, BAB is three. Sorry. Okay. Was, Moby. So three so plus four minus four, two, so it's a plus two, two, so that's eight. Yeah, that's still yes. a miss. Well, it's it's. Six plus three plus one minus two plus one. <laughs> What's the six from? Oh, the six oh, is the roll. Yeah, the six is the roll. What? What's that come out to? I lost track. Of nine. Many numbers. Nine. 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 Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's still a miss. I know. <laughs> God, he's got so many mods going on. This is ridiculous. I know. I need to. I need to just mark it down here. All right, All right. Uh, next are the orcs. So the one orc's gone, so I don't have to worry about that guy. I'm just going to cross him out. Uh, next is uh, Arrow McShooty Face here. He noticing that guy is going to, as a move action, pull out his falchion and attempt to swipe at you with it. And he misses, of course. And then... That's it. So next is the other orc. He's going to pull out his falchion and take a five foot step and attempt to attack the dwarf who's staring at the ground. <laughs> it can't save you that much. And he rolls a critical threat. Oh shit. So I'm going to roll to confirm. I'll let you guys see this. <laughs> uh, 22. To your AC, Lock Um, what is it? Just 15? 15. So that is a confirmed critical. So he just steps up and this dwarf, not paying any ounce of attention, just gets slashed with this, with this huge uh, falchion. So I'm going to go ahead and roll damage here. Uh... That is 12 points of damage. And I rolled poorly on that, too. You better start touching yourself. <laughs> just take 12 points of damage. That is that's quite a bit. So he just goes and just, whoa, and just clacks you with his falchion. Uh, that should get you to pay attention. And after that is Kabor's turn. As in splash. All right, All right. splash away. Splash Roll. <laughs> another six. That is another <laughs> miss. <laughs> What's his BAB though? Uh, like one. Sorcerers have like an incredibly low BAB because they they use spells. <clears throat> and also, I don't think BAB is added to spells. Jared, why don't you just break out the laser again? Yeah. He only gets a certain amount of those per day. I know. Yeah, he has to only have like one left. He has three left, actually. Oh my god! Yeah. Laser everything. Yeah, they're... Well, you guys still have a long way to go. You guys are only halfway done with exploring just this area. You still have like... the One whole area after the, this. Yeah, the whole like northern part of town afterwards. All in one All night, night, so spells are precious. <laughs> All right, All right, so after so, him, I believe, is Lachnali. Yep. Yep. So after just getting completely sliced, what would you like to do? Um, I would like to pull out my wand of light wounds. Cure light wounds? Sure. And I would like to touch myself. Uh, all right, <laughs> go ahead and uh, roll a heal. What was it, 1d8? Well... Is it 1d8? Who had the wand? Yeah, you pipped it. 
Uh, I have no idea. I don't have my. Hey, Scott, what's your cure light wound spell? Heal for. Oh, Scott, you have the wand, you boob. Do you want to use that? Yes, he is using. It. I'm just, it's oh. just. It heals the same as the spell, so I was just asking him to check the spell. Uh, okay, so it's a, yeah, so it's, it's just a D8 then. You don't get the cast level bonus. All right, you heal for three. Yes. <laughs> So you see this dwarf looking at the ground, it gets completely sliced, and then he just pulls out this one and goes, mm, and he just sees like this tiny little spark of light pop out, just for like a quarter second, bloop, that's it. Alright. And then, does that count as my action? You can still move. If you move more than a five foot step though, he gets a free attack at you. That would provoke. Get out of here. If you move more than five feet. Because then you'd have to turn around. But if you do a back step, you can do that. Like, five foot like that. Or like this. Which way do you want to go? Or like this. I want to go here. Because that won't provoke, right? No, that's a five foot step, so you're fine. I would like to move here. Alright. Uh, of course you would. <laughs> so after that is uh, Sigatrix. Go ahead and uh, do your thing. Um... Going to let's see, step here. Yep. And let's do slumber again. Can't. Can't. Target. Target. Gonna be oh. cast, hit by slumber. Misfortune. Misfortune then. Misfortune. Uh, so I gotta roll again, right? Yep. Yeah. DC. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I fail. So what's misfortune do? Uh, you roll, on every roll, you roll twice, and you take the worst. Oh my god, it's like a bottle cap against me. Wow. Hey, yeah, an ability check, attack, saving, or skill check. How long does this last? Um, one round. Alright, that's one too many. I'm not happy about that. Alright, so this guy is unlucky. Justin, do you have damage spells? Yeah, but they're actual spells. Yeah, these are these are free. Um, what's a good unlucky? I'm not wasting my spells on these. Yeah, we'll do this creepy mask thing because you're wearing a mask. All right. All uh, right. Next is Orok. What would you like to do? Well, I can't. I don't have a clear shot to the back. Nope. You can see the guy in front of him now. Uh, I'll just do that then. Can I rapid fire? Yeah. So this will be a plus three instead of a plus five to these. Yeah, that's yeah. a hit. What's the damage for So that's plus three. Yep, sixteen. Dang it, that's also a hit. So go ahead and roll damage twice. All right. Man, this guy really is unlucky. Gets hit with unluck and then shabam. Two. So, plus two. Yes, it's so four. four. Plus another six. Six. Ten. Yep. Holy yep. crap. So, this guy was like feeling all confident and cocky because he just slashed this dwarf. Then all of a sudden, something slightly weird goes on. He's like, man, I, this doesn't feel good. And then shabam! Two arrows right back to back. <laughs> And he is also ferocious. Yay. All right. Uh, so now we loop back around again to Valnar. What would you like to do? You got two orcs on you here. Uh, and a very important orc behind you. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> they both have two arrows in them, I'm just saying. I know. Wh which, what is the the thing on this guy? Uh, the southern uh, guy. The northern guy. Oh, that was just the one that uh, Andrew was, shoot was shot at initially. I can give her that little target thing. I oh, okay. got, I was just saying he got hit by the arrow. Oh, okay, that's what I go. thought. Well, I'm gonna attack the one that is misfortune. Oh wait, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're both five yeah, feet away. Oh, I think one. So I'm gonna attack the one that's not because if we kill him, the other one's misfortune. 
All right. All good right. good thinking. I like that. Well, no uh, way. Oh my yeah. oh god, he's rolling right. three yeah. natural twenties tonight. What is this? Here we go. Alright, go ahead and roll to confirm. He may be, he may be uh, blind, but he can do something. Uh yep, that's a confirmed critical. So go ahead Fuck and roll yes. double damage. There we go. Yes. It's gonna be like one damage. Oh shit. There we go. <laughs> Holy crap. Plus your strength mod. What's your strength mod? One. Alright, so that is 12, 12 damage. damage. Holy oh, crap. crap. So you just... Five plus, well, 5 plus 1 and 6 plus 1. And, and no, you, you just add... It's one attack, so it's just 5 plus 6 plus 1. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Orok shot two arrows. So that's two separate attacks. So that's 12. Yeah, so yeah. you just you, he just turned this guy and just you just see this this huge glowing symbol of Iomade on his shield as you just clack down on this guy and just cut him in twain diagonally from shoulder to hip. Just, nice. And he is dead. Nice. Wow, that was sick. <laughs> BM chat here. Hope to be just like you one day, mister. <laughs> you want me to touch you now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll read. All right. All right. Uh, uh, so next is yeah. the other orc. Seeing his buddy just get completely wrecked, he's going to take a five-foot step this way. And he is going to... Attempt to hit you, and I had to roll twice and take the lower result. Well, I got a five and a two, so... Yeah, you take that two. Yeah, this misfortune <laughs> is... Horrid. Alright, uh, so he he's just so freaked out with seeing his buddy literally just chopped in half. That uh, he just cannot, cannot hit at all. It's just you easily block away with your shield, like you're not even trying. Yeah, actually. And uh, next is Kabor. You're going to have to make like a movement and then lock him with your staff. Now, if you want to do a melee attack, because I looked this up, because he's facing, you're directly behind him, you would not provoke an attack because he's, that's like the benefit of a backstab, is you don't provoke an attack of opportunity because you're behind him. Hit him with your stick. Get the flanking. Right, you get a flanking bonus. Get the flanking bonus. Yeah, so you get a plus two to hit. Chart is breaking out the stick. Hit him with that stick. Now, he has a magical quarter staff, if I'm not mistaken. So go ahead and just you just see him walk up here, and you just see this glowing, glowing uh, rod of wood. T20. Let's see it. Click it. Oh, oh my oh. lord! All right, that All is right, a that definite is hit. hit. So go ahead and roll for damage. You just see him just boom, oh. wax him with his magical bowling <laughs> rod. Bonus. What's your bonus? Um, what's his? Uh, I think it's yeah. What's your strength mod? Does Jar even have any strength? Uh, zero. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I mean. All right, you still whack him in the back. That's still good damage. Wow, wow. that is as brutal. All right. <laughs> now this guy is flanked too, so that's real bad you news. Uh, you next... can't throw. You can't throw a massive thing of ass. <laughs> just go boom, old man wagon. <laughs> Got my lawn. <laughs> next is Lock Nolly. I will turn and attempt to attack the orc. All right, yeah, so part of your move action would be to uh, pull out your weapon because you have the wand in your hand. But yes, so I pull out my wand. Yep. And go ahead and make an attack roll. <laughs> yep. And you miss. Yay! <laughs> so this dwarf has so far run in blindly, stared at the floor, gotten slapped, <laughs> barely healed himself for anything, and then miss. Why did you? Why did you attack? Just heal yourself. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> There's always up the stairs. 
Uh, uh, next is Cicatrix. Go ahead and uh, do your thing. Your, your line of sight's kind of obscured now. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if I can do anything. Yeah, misfortune's over now, so I can get rid of that. Thank God. Uh, Let's go ahead and move into the place right here. Yeah. Alright. To that right, right block. block. Yeah. 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 Um, then I will do Touch of Fatigue. Actually, I have to, I have to touch him for that, don't I? Hence the name. <laughs> Would he get an attack of opportunity if I walk next to him? Yes. Even if he's looking. Yeah, because that's, uh, he can, I mean, can you punch straight sideways? Yes. It, 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 you can't punch yeah. behind yourself, though. Alright, I will inflict... Uh, that's also touch. Everything I have is touch. You gotta get in there, man. He's gonna die anyway. Yeah, we'll have to, I'm gonna take an attack. No, I'll do it. Alright, you, you're gonna uh, take an attack for opportunity? Yep. Alright. Critical threat. What? I roll a natural 20. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm dead serious. Oh my god. We'll go ahead and roll to confirm. We'll see if you get, we'll let you guys see this. Uh, that is a 13. Nope, 14. Oh my god, my AC is 13. <laughs> Alright, that is confirmed critical. This guy was critical, horribly unlucky, and as soon as that unluck goes away, he is back into full force and rolls a critical. So we'll go ahead and, uh, I'll go ahead and roll for damage here. Oh my god, I'm rolling garbage. That is 11 points of damage. Oh, so garbage. Uh, that is okay. almost minimum. That's like almost minimum damage. You've rolled right, well, two criticals in like six rolls. You've rolled three criticals in four rolls. What are you talking about? <laughs> that guy like uh, the enraged mode or whatever? Yeah, they're, Battle he's, of the he's, fero he's ferocious right now. Battle of the criticals today. Yeah, this has been an unreal. You know what? Since he critted me, I'm gonna shocking grasp him. All right. Is that a touch attack? Do I need to roll? Uh, it is a touch attack. Okay, so that means you gotta roll against touch AC. Uh, you have any mods? BAB. BAB is one. That is enough. <laughs> Thank you. Really? Yeah, it's a touch attack. Your touch AC is much lower than your normal. All right. 3d6 so, damage? Yeah, it's 1d6 per caster level. What the heck? So, so this guy this just guy goes and slashes you and you can just you can just see the uh, just like the the motion cuz he's wearing a mask so you can't really see his face, but just the amount of Tenseness in the muscles as he just turns, grabs him by the throat, and just electrocutes him, and his head just melts, and he dies. <laughs> oh also, was he wearing metal armor? Yes. I get plus three if they're wearing metal. Yeah, I'm aware. On it. He's wearing a helmet. That's why I said his head just melts. Oh my god. So you literally just like electric, electric yeah, electric chaired him to death, and he is fried. Wow. That's what he gets for critting me. That was brutal. Now, one orc did run upstairs. Let's get him, bitches. Do you guys want to do any quick heals or anything? You have, like, maybe five, ten seconds. So, like, one, a one action. Can I roll a perception to gather arrows, Josh? Or... Uh, yeah, what, how's arrow gathering work? I don't remember. I thought it was, like, a perception check. Uh, just roll a d4, and you pick up that many arrows. Okay. We'll just make this easy. All right, you get one. I get, I get one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, the other three uh, splintered as they uh, pierced into the orcs. Yeah, you don't have to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Right, you have a limited amount of arrows? Yeah. Yes. How many? Really? How yeah. many do you have? Twenty-seven. No. It's a long fight, though. I started with 40. Yeah. 
So as it's getting it's time's going on. I mean, you, you guys have not checked a single dead body that you've killed so far. All that loot just gone. I didn't even know we could do that. Yeah, you guys looted the bejesus out of the bodies when we first started playing. Like literally every single combat would be half you guys fighting, half you guys trying to loot them by stripping them naked every time. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so does anybody want to do any quick heals or anything before you guys... Yeah, I'm gonna lay on in sick of tricks. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no, no. I'll, uh, I'll use the wand and you guys... You only have enough time to do, like, two hits of wand. And you gotta spread it out between five of you guys. Yeah. Only two of us need heals. Josh, can we rummage dead bodies real quick or no? Uh, there will be a cost to that, but you can rummage the bodies. Remember that one of them ran upstairs. When they're being healed, can't he rummage through one of them? Uh, sure. You probably have enough time to go through one. If you want to go through more, then uh, that's going to incur something. All right. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll go right here. Sure. sure. Move yourself in there. Okay. Move the trick trick and I'll cast, I'll cast one on me and one on him. Wait. Okay, so can I loot this dude? Wait. This dude? Oops. If you if you uh hold down the uh oh, when we have the like the cursor selected. There's a roll for heal, Scott. We'll do a little ping. Yeah, that's for you. Oh. Holy cow. And that's this for me. Wow. All right. Cleric finally pulling through. Yeah, alright, so we'll go through the With the wand. So you, we have one orc body looted and one guard body looted. So I'll tell you guys what you get. So we'll start with the human body. Um, the guard is pretty much stripped of anything useful. He has a broken just shield. It's just a standard steel shield. And a crappy sword. Like it's The stats are pretty trash. His armor is pretty beat up. His cape's all ripped up. Um... Nothing really special so, going on. He has no gold or any potions on him, so he's... So he's just a trash person. He's Well, he's dead. That's pretty rude. <laughs> he's probably been looted anyway. Yeah, so... His family's probably happy. Now, the orc <laughs> has a falchion in pretty good condition. Um, his armor's okay, but none of you guys would wear it anyway, so I'm not going to bother with that because that's a lot of uh, weight. Um, he also has 20 gold pieces on him. All right. Pick that up. And he has 20 feet of hemp rope. Hemp rope? Yeah. Fuck yes. So, it would have been useful to tie up that one guy, Dakatani, but uh, he's already gone, so no need to worry about that. And that's all that guy has. Okay. You Let's keep pursuing. Yeah, or you can upstairs? get to loot the guy in front of you. Yeah. Let's keep pursuing. All right, yeah. Do you want, Kabor, do you want to check, loot the body right in front of you? Because you're there. Okay, so you find another 20 gold pieces. And another 20 feet of hemp rope. Are you keeping track of that, Josh? Or Joey? Yeah, I'll keep, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep track of all your guys' stuff for you, because I don't have so any other things. Do we one falchion? Uh, uh, he has a falchion as well. But, uh, I already have I already have a falchion, so yeah. Does any, do we have any use for falchions? Uh -huh. Does he have a martial weapon proficiency? Yeah, you need a proficiency, um, martial proficiency to wield one. Can we sell it later? Sure. You want to lug it around for the next six episodes? Wanna, yeah, you want to lug around a claymore? Man, are you guys gonna find any more orcs with falchions, the standard orc weapon around here? Who knows? <laughs> Hey, this is, this is like Skyrim when you find your f like. Listen, you're not gonna have 60 wheels of cheese to kill yourself <laughs> mid combat. This is not Skyrim. All right, let's go. You find like an enchanted dagger, you're like oh, greatest thing ever. All right, what's uh, what's what's this? this is gonna be very important. This is single file, so what's gonna be the order? Joey needs to be in front. I so we do. No, I'm gonna Joey. be in the back. To uh, so we do Joey. ward any intruders. And then, uh, myself, Boar, and Are 
Can we keep the same initiative? No, the initiative is going to be re-rolled if it's a new combat because you guys are officially out of combat right now. Okay. Then yeah, um, Valnar, Orok, myself, or Sigurdr. Uh, I'm trying to find a cool pawn. So, you guys order yourself while I look for this pawn. I can't move myself. That's good enough. Okay. So, uh, Justin can. Actually, yeah, I am the only one. So, what's the order? Are you in the back? Uh, I'm in the back. Jared's not. Okay, so it's like, Jared's it's like this. Yeah. yeah. That's okay, so we'll move him over here. Um, yeah, and you're right there. We'll we'll funnel it through as we go. Okay. So when so you come up you come here, here. Um, I'm going to have... Uh, Valinar, can you roll a perception check for me? Because you're in the front. Orok can't see very well because you're pretty tall and he's lower on the steps. Right, the blind is going to do a perception check. <laughs> He's not blind. He's pretty he much blind. He's just elderly. I mean, he is like 500 years old. That's okay. Are the elves supposed to be like... I can see forever? Like, vision-wise? Perception-wise, yes. Yeah. I mean, every one of the rings would be nobody else. Like, like, look at that! that. <laughs> well, he's a wood elf, I believe. 20 miles away. Did you, uh, roll? I don't see anything. Yeah, roll. What am I rolling, a d20? Yeah, perception yeah. check. Where have you been? <laughs> uh, Alright! I don't even know why I roll perception <laughs> checks. Alright, so you don't see anything. Uh, not, you don't even see this guy. This guy's just a placeholder, so I'm just gonna move him out of the way. You see absolutely nobody up here. So you uh, you guys want to take a, a five foot step, ten foot step? What you guys want to do? Let's do a five foot step then. Yeah, that's good. I can move uh, Justin over here. Okay. Can Aura check now? Yeah. Yeah. Am I allowed to do that? Yeah. Grandmaster. Yeah. Valinor can't roll yet. It's not, it hasn't been a long enough time period for him to re-roll perception. Plus uh, nine, so twenty three. Okay, okay. Uh, so that's good, that's good enough to notice, notice that, that there are quite a few guys hiding and wait to ambush you up here. So let me get my pawns here. How many is quite a few? Uh, I'm going to place them, so you'll see. Oops. Yeah, we're not done yet. And then you see one guy with a big old war drum who's like practically standing out on the ledge just can we push him off? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, you can try. So, uh, everyone, go ahead and roll for initiative, but there's going to be a surprise round where they get to attack before you do. Nice perception check. So, everyone, go ahead and roll. I need to roll myself. Keep going with you. I need two different ones. Oh, I'll go next. There we go. What's this guy's perception bonus? Peanut. I'm here. The Ermac over here is <laughs> rolling pretty well. Yeah. Two people. No, no, no. No, no. Is it going to be here at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning? Is it going to be? Is it going to be? Huh? Yeah, is Maria going to be there at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning? Is Maria going to be here at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning? Is Maria going to be here? <laughs> yeah, is she? We need to know. <laughs> uh, 
no, she's gonna be here at like eight fifteen. Oh, I'll be gone then. What time you get there? Ugh. Uh, There's still around. I get to wake up early and. I don't think he knows how to mute his mic. I want everyone to engage in our family conversation. <laughs> well, we are. <laughs> we are all family. Oh, I didn't know that they were listening. Um, oh, we are. Oh, yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know it was a speaker. Just, oh, just a casual six of us over here hanging out. Who is that, Chris? Josh. Josh. Jared, Justin, Andrew, Scott. Oh my god. Hey. How's, How's it going? going? How are you doing? Hey. Good. <laughs> I'll let you go. Don't I'll say. Yeah, 8.15, didn't you? 8.15. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's like, a, like a mom with a kid and like seven of his seven year old friends. Like, oh, I'll let you play with your friends now. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's everyone's right. initiatives here? Um, I was Eleven. All right, hold on. Everyone's gonna be yelling at me. This is not gonna work very well. Eighteen. <laughs> Shit. All right, I'm All just gonna right, ask you guys. All right, or what'd you get? Eleven. That sucks. Kabor, what'd you what get? Eleven uh, again. Six. Six. Eleven. Why did you give me a? Uh, or what's your initiative bonus? bonus? Totally. No, I, that's with my initiative. I know. What bonus. is it? What's your bonus? Because you tied. Two. All right, Two. All right. So whenever you tie with somebody else, it's whoever has a higher initiative bonus gets to go first. Uh, Valnar, what'd you get? Preferably an eight or a fifteen. Uh, seven. Yeah, so close. Yeah. Lachnai, what'd you get? Sixteen. Ooh. Uh, Sicketrix, what'd you get? Eighteen. Y'all need to stop it with the speed here. Okay, so okay. let me write down new initiative order. This is... How many orcs are there? Five? Oh, I should have added an extra one. That is, that is lame. But they have a battle drum guy. Sure do. Sure do. He has a name too, so that should make you guys scared. Anybody with names, I get bonus abilities and stuff. That's pretty peen. Yeah, not really. Pretty I need all the help I can get. Pretty peen. Big daddy. Well, alright, so a couple of these orcs have prepared themselves for this coming up. Uh, so first, the drum guy is going to start changing up his song. So instead of the boom, 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 he starts going much faster. Boom, 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 boom. So he's playing much, much faster. And as and as he starts doing this, you notice all the other orcs are starting to bother their head and bash their swords against their shields, and they're kind of getting real hyped for the song. So he's definitely giving some sort of some sort of bonus with this music. So, there's that going on. And then two of the orcs who had their javelins ready are going to throw them at Valinor. So, I'm going to do two attack rolls. This is all bonus rounds. This is before anything even starts. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll. Um, let me. I forgot to check what the song does here. So, let me look that up real fast. A song? Yeah, the. the uh, the, the orc has changed up his drum song, so he gets the fucking, the fucking song. <laughs> he inject themselves with steroids. Josh, can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, uh, hold on a second. I gotta. This thing has like 17 abilities, so. I have to go on. Oh. Holy cow! All right. All right. So, with that, what's the BAB on this guy?
Okay. So that is an 18. I'm guessing that's not a hit. Joey. 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 Is it going on right now? What? What? I can't hear anything going on right now. Oh, we're talking to you. <laughs> oh, you apparently can't hear me. Hello? Uh, kind of. Come back. Kind of hear us? Kind of. Like, it's in spurts. Oh, I lovely. I, I think I can hear you okay now. Okay. Well, I... I uh, 18 is your AC. Does, is that a hit? No. Okay. I'm going to roll again. I don't know why it rolled twice, but it rolled the same number. Um, oh, okay. Also an 18. So, they both miss. And now we go to actual rounds here. So I'm going to go ahead and write down initiative. Let me slide my camera over here. All right. So up first is Drummer Boy. So he is going to continue playing his song. But as he's doing so, he's also going to attempt to cast a spell. What? Yes. Why can't you both? Uh, you'll just have to find out. You guys can try to do a uh, knowledge check to figure out what the heck's going on with this guy. So as he's as he's playing his song, he starts ro like doing some sweet drum fills. And as he's doing those, he casts a spell. So I need you to roll a will save. So go just roll a d20 and then add your will. Oh my, oh my fuck. Oh, oh yes! Oh, oh yes! Yeah. Oh, this oh, is brutal. Well, right. isn't that good roll? So, as he's doing these sweet drum fills, you feel this uncontrollable urge to start laughing. Just non-stop. And as you do so, you fall to the ground prone, and you can no longer take any actions whatsoever. This is so gay. Yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> this is the stupidest shit ever. Oh, yes. Um, and this is going to last... Ooh! Three rounds of not being able to do anything. Oh, my God. This spell is brutal. So you just fall over... Cackling with laughter to the point where your ribs start hurting and you cannot do anything. So you are lying down on the ground prone. So let me see if I have a lying down symbol here. Can I bottle cap that, Josh? Yeah, you rolled. <laughs> nice try. I, I, I applaud your effort, but uh, it's. Joey did say GG no re earlier, and I said, oh, I'll re. And here we are. I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that so means. Mad. It means no response. Like, you didn't, you didn't like do anything back. It was so easy, and you didn't do anything in response. Uh -oh. Well, here's my response, Joey. How do you like me now? No, it means uh, no retry or no. Um, no one knows what it means. Why, why am I blanking on the word? It means that you are down on the ground laughing and can no longer do anything. That's what it means. Yeah. It also means that no one can stand at that square either, because he's taking up that square on the ground. So, so can I step over him? You though? can step over him. Okay. But it is not your turn. After the drummer goes, it is now Sicatrix's turn. Yeah, I can do so much from the bottom of the steps down here. You bet. <laughs> um, can he run up the stairs yeah, or no? Yeah, he can. He can uh, move through allies. So. I mean, look how many people are up there, though. Can I give... Guidance... To... Orok? Uh, what is... Is that a spell? Uh, yeah. Look it up. Guidance. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, you just gotta run up and touch him. So that's fine. Can I stand on the short midget man? We'll just say that you run up there. You can say like while you're running past him, you just touch him with it. So if you want to go stand up there next to uh, Valinar's hysterically laughing. Body. No, I I don't want to do that at all. Okay, well you can run up, touch him, and run back. How's that? That is much better. Okay. I'd rather not get massacred by. Five right, so essentially what Guidance does is you get a plus one bonus on a single attack roll, saving throw, or skill check. And you got to choose which one you want to do before you use it. So, uh, Or I could essentially get a pl plus one on a single roll. Roll here. Uh, so the other guys can get past me, right? Yeah. yeah. It's not All a thing, right. though. That, that, okay. was, that was sick of Trixie's spell. I'm just asking if they can get past me. I'm yeah. probably like last, aren't I? Or Kabor's last. last. You're not last. Uh, Laffy Boy's last. Uh, I see. Uh, Lachnali, you're next. Can you um, use Sanctuary again? I don't see why not. That's that was going to be my question, Josh. How many how many times am I allowed to use? Uh, how many? We wrote down your sheet how many times per day you can use your spells. Where is that at? Spells per day? I, I don't have anything under it. I just have... Uh, I'll, uh, then I'll look it up. Spell. You're a cleric, right? Yeah. yeah. I just have plus one. What level spell, spell is that? Uh, one. It's a level one spell? Mm-hmm. You get three level one spells per day, so you still have two left. Mm -hmm. How many level zero spells do I get? Zero level yeah. spells? You get infinite. Mine does. I can use it. That's how many different spells you get, but you can cast them an infinite amount of times. So, so is he, if they. If they just, just, I'm confused. But resistance? Can I give that to Joe? The spell resistance? Yeah. It says, uh, it says, all the yeah, do you, don't you like lose your resistances as you give that to somebody else? Is that how that works? No. Okay, I remember somebody can like donate their save bonuses to somebody else, but I think that's, 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 but that's a oh, it's a different. Oh, it's like an actual thing just called. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's yeah. okay. That's right. That's right. So what's the spell so, called? Resistance? It's resistance. Plus one resistance bonus to all saves for the duration. So if he gets a can he do a saving throw? That That's only, only against like something like like I just did. Like he had to do a will save, so I'll give him a plus. So if I like, tried to do another spell now that he's immobilized, that would give him a plus one to the to resist that. Uh, Scott, I think you uh, should use the one where they can't attack. Sanctuary? I know, I know, but that would be two out of my three level one spells. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what better time would there be to use it? <laughs> if you tell me a better time <laughs> ever in the history of Pathfinder to use that spell, then you then you don't have to. Yeah, use let me it. see. Does the sanctuary work for everybody who attacks, or just the first guy? Because there's quite a few guys up here. So any of them? Yeah, you're you're like really laggy on the chat, Scott. I can't hear a word you're saying. For three rounds. Yeah. Yeah. They must. They must make a will save. Yep. Yep. Okay, so I'll cast sanctuary on that. All right. Oh, thank God. So you have cast Sanctuary on him. Can I get a cool... So, what's the... Yeah, so I, every, yeah, so anybody who I, hits him has to do a will save. If they fail that will save, their hit is negated, and they can no longer attack him until Sanctuary ends. And then that's... A level plus. Yeah. Is that what? What? How do I know? What? How do I know what that is online? Is that for yeah, that? So there's a. I have to roll. 
Uh, I, every time I attack, I have to roll a will save. So I think I wrote down on one of your spells what the will save level is. Is it on that yeah. one? I wrote like, it was like 10 plus yeah. Yeah. spell level plus your charisma modifier or something. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus wisdom. wisdom. Yeah, so 10 plus your spell level plus your wisdom. So this is a first level spell. And what's your wisdom hey, modifier? Um, this lost three rounds. Three. All right, so right. DC is fourteen, and it lasts three rounds. Right. Right. Oh, oh, no, 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 yeah, because you're a level you. three cleric. All right, so I have this. So that's fourteen, 14 or, or higher. higher. Yeah. So, yeah. So if I don't roll a fourteen or higher, then my attack is negated, and I can no longer attack over those three rounds. All right. All right. That is a All pretty. Right. pretty Clutch Sanctuary. Uh, so after Lachnali is Kabor. You guys are what still stuck on this. Sanctuary? What'd you say? What is the other part of Sanctuary? So, so if they tr if they try to attack you, they have to roll a will save. If they fail the will save, their attack's negated and they cannot attack you for the entire three rounds. If they succeed, their attack goes through as normal and they can ignore Sanctuary for the rest of the duration. Wow, that sucks. So, Does each person have to make that roll? Yeah, every single yeah, enemy that hits him has to make that roll. Mm -hmm. So you uh, essentially have double uh, double armor. Because you get a minus yeah, four to melee hits and your AC when you're on the ground, prone. So you're, what was your AC before, 21? Yeah. So you're, you're down to 17 AC right now because you're lying on the ground. Oh, well, that's better than I thought. I thought it was like a five or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. And you're also not considered helpless. They can't coup de grow you. Although that would have been... So you had a, you hit, you hit, they had a 72 or above and then a 14 or above. Yeah. So I have to make two saves every time, which is kind of kind of dumb. But I did... Uh, that was the best spell that my little drummer boy had, and he nailed it. So I'm pretty excited about that. My little drummer boy? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey, don't make fun of me. All right, come on. You guys are just stuck on the staircase. This is really tight quarters here. You guys need to get up there and do something, because he can't see anything from right there. I mean, you can play it safe until uh, Orak gets out of the way. But, like, I'm the range guy, so why am I diving... Like, Cause you have no one else. Your tank's down. Yeah, don't we have like a tank cleric or something like that can run around to heal people? Uh, well, he did get smacked pretty bad. Did you heal back up all the way? Yeah, I'm at nineteen. Yeah, that's pretty good. What's your AC? Fifteen. Uh, see, his AC is only fifteen though. Yeah, I'm not really a tank. Yeah, neither am I. Whose turn is it though? Kabor's? Yeah, is he gonna Kabor's come? Turn. Is he coming up the stairs and gonna yeah. nuke? If he gets up there, he's gonna get completely wrecked. What's his AC? Uh, twelve. Uh, <laughs> so is, is he gonna defer major, then? Actually, it's sixteen right now because his mage armor is still going. Just go ahead and defer then, um, Jared, and then uh, we can get people up there stairs. Then deferring. Yeah, so He's you can either ready an action or hold an action. So ready an action means if something happens, you'll do something. Holding an action means you essentially forfeit your spot in the in the order to move yourself later in the order to move, to do whatever you want. I would just defer it then, Jared. But he'll permanently be lowered in the in the order if he does that. Now you can like ready an action, like if if Orok moves, then you'll move and move to his spot and shoot a spell or something like that. That way you get to keep your order. But if he, if you, if you, whatever you ready does not happen, then you, then you don't do anything. You have to predict, essentially predicting the future, what's going to happen. So, what would you like to do? Do you want to hold, or do you want to? You want to hold? Okay. So, whenever you want, let me know, and you will cut in line and take your turn, and you'll stay there. Okay. All right. So right after Kabor is Orok. Uh, I can. Can I five foot step right here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
I'll allow that. And I can rapid fire or no? Yes, you, yeah. uh, you only took a five foot step, so you could full round action if you'd like. Can I rapid fire the drummer? Going after the drummer, huh? Yeah. All right. Little drummer boy. Oh, he ain't little. Plus uh, three. Plus three? Yep. All right. All right. Uh, that uh, is a hit. And plus three again. Same thing. Yep, that's also a hit. Let's go ahead and roll damage twice. Plus my deck, so it's two, so six. Yep. Three. So nine total. All right. All right. You did a decent chunk of damage to him. But he, he seems... Like unfazed. So like the it didn't do any damage to no, him? No, it, it did, but like he didn't care. Oh, okay, cool. Alright. All right, all right. Uh so uh, after so do you wanna take you your turn now, Jared, now that uh he's out of the way, so he essentially flip sides. Because if not, it's the orc's turn. I mean, you're gonna be sitting a while. Yeah. Yeah, he he wants to go. Alright, so I'm just gonna flip you in the order here. All right. All right. So I'm uh, guessing you're gonna move now because uh, Valinar's lying on the ground. You can easily see anybody out. So you can see this guy and you can see this guy. This guy and this guy both have partial cover. So you'd have to roll a percent mischance. Or I think actually they get a plus two to their AC, which is uh, not ideal. You hear this? Boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, 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 bada boom. This guy's just drumming along. He's magic missling the drummer. All right, that's a guaranteed hit. Uh, that's a level one spell, right? Yes. All right, so uh, keep track of how many of those casts because you only have a certain amount. He's got like a little sheet of paper that he writes. Write down somewhere. Make a notepad or something on a computer. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Scott's keeping track of his spells too, so you got you spell buddies can still. That was a level one spell. Yeah, I forget how many he gets. Uh. Five. Jeez. Insane. All right. Uh, what does what does magic missiles damage? I think it's like one d four plus something because of his level. Uh, plus one force damage, and then. Plus one missile every two cast levels. Beyond All right, so he gets two missiles. So it's one d four plus missiles. one twice. And then yeah, so roll, so roll two d four, and then we'll two add two. Four. Oh my lord! Oh, that that is is ten juicy. damage. Juicy. That, that is insane, and it's a guaranteed hit. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, he looks significantly worse for wear now. Like bloodied, or is he just like he's he's he's, he's pretty bloody, not super bloodied, but he's not even in ferocious mode yet. Gotcha. And he has taken eight, what nineteen damage so far, and he's still yeah. not even in negatives. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's cranking along. All right, next is fun time as we get to move orcs and lots of them. Problem is we're kind of bottlenecked here. All right, so let me write down. I need to write down on my sheet here the different orcs. And you notice something like these orcs are like all beaten, beaten to their like the sound of the drums. And as you notice that, you notice that they're all glowing like this faint red glow, like they're getting magically buffed somehow. And uh, for the first guy is going to take a step back and ready something, as you don't see. Uh, this fifth guy is also going to do the same thing. This guy is going to take a five-foot step and swing. 
good. I do get a big bonus now. I think it's uh, 14 uh, to your AC. Okay. I have 16 AC. Unfortunate. The second guy is going to walk up right in front of you and then provoke an attack of opportunity. So go ahead and roll that. So could I quick draw Falchion or do I have to shoot my bow? Uh, yeah, you, oh yeah, you have your bow out. Yeah, you have no arrow drawn, so you don't get any. That sucks. <laughs> Unfortunate. And he is going to attack you. Uh, 15. 16, so... Goodness gracious. And this last guy is going to pull out a javelin and throw it also at Orok. Actually... No, he's going to step up and attempt to stab this laughing hooligan on the ground. He can't because the sanctuary. I thought. Uh, yeah, I get to roll a save, so I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll the save. I'll let you guys see it. So I need, a, I need at least a 14. Oh my gosh! All right, so this guy can no longer attack him for the entire duration. So I'm gonna put the same symbol there to mean that he is. He can is Jared giving an attack of opportunity against him? No, because no. there's a wall there. All right. So these these other two orcs on the sides have readied something. They did not move. All right. After the orcs bring up the rear is Valinar, who gets a whole lot of nothing. So we just go ahead and skip your turn. Yay! Turn one done. So we'll just I'll keep track over here. One. One turn done. All right. All right. How long is that thing that you did last? The same amount of rounds Sanctuary lasts. Okay. Both three rounds. Okay. All right. So this drummer, as he's beating along to his song, he's going to do another weird change in drum fills, and he just changed up his song a little bit. Does some sweet drum rolls and stuff, and as he does so... He's going to target Orok, and I need you to make a fortitude save. So, 1d20 plus my... Plus your fortitude. Uh, okay. save bonus. It's on, it should be on the left side. Okay. You, is, is resistance or... You can... You still have the, uh... Yeah, you still have the plus one... The guidance. But you get a plus one on a roll if you'd like to use that. From Justin. Are you gonna use that? Uh, no. I'll just use my fortitude. As is. Okay. So, what's your fortitude bonus? Four. Alright. That is enough. No. But, uh... You only take half damage, and you do not get the secondary effect of this spell, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to go ahead and roll damage and then have it. Man, this spell's pretty wicked too. It's unfortunate. How many of these do I get? Oh, baby. This guy's amazing. Uh, you take three points of damage. Three? Yep. Okay. I rolled terribly low. See. Okay. okay. All right. And that's all for the drummer. All right, sick of tricks. Yep, yeah, sick of tricks, you're up. All right, I'm going to. Oh my god. There's so many people. Yep. Can I, like, walk into somebody? On the same tile as that? No, you can't end your spot on the same tile as a friendly. Can I even get in there? It's it's t you'd it's cramped. Double, you'd have to double move, probably. He can move. I mean, I'm sure he's got. Plenty well, of I'd get two attack of opportunities onto me. Yes, you would incur two attacks of opportunity. I would die. So I'm just gonna take everyone's heat for them. I mean, can I? <laughs> Yeah, can I do that? Uh, sure. What the heck? I mean, I technically did say that Jared couldn't hit this guy, but... It's a spell, right? Uh, it's a hex. Yeah, then yeah, yeah I'll allow it. Because you're not gonna... doing anything, you just need to see him. I'm gonna slumber. Alright. So I need to roll a will save, right? Yeah. DC 14. 14. Oh boy. Uh, I fail. I fail. 
Falls asleep. So he is asleep for what is the duration? Uh, I think it's only one turn. Yeah, that's enough for a coup de gras or just somebody to get up there. Um, there's how's it not a sleep symbol? Well, you know, a witch's level. That's if the safe. Yeah, so three three rounds. Three rounds. I mean, I mean sorry, sorry, you're. <laughs> you, it's fine. I think everyone will figure out what he is pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, how's it not a sleep I, icon? I couldn't care less if they knew or not. I, I, we actually have any, I'll describe him later what he looks like. Cause Three turns. It'll be kind of apparent. All if right. I can get within the sight of the uh, the drummer, I can do something to him. Dude, he's, I mean, like. You can think you can do something to him. One or two more rounds and he's, he'll probably die. One or two more attacks. Yeah, I mean, no, he's going to go into his rage mode in one or two more rounds. He has, like, yes. triple the amount of health. Because when they hit zero, they stay alive until they hit. Yeah, remember orcs have ferocity. And you have to probably another on. twenty health. Yeah, he's been hit for nineteen damage so far, and is still above zero. This guy's a beast. Yeah. I mean, I was for. All right. This orc is now asleep, so now people can get up there, and only provo this guy can only attack one of you. He doesn't have improved reflexes. I'll just give you that. So the first person to go gets a free attack, but everyone else can go up there free of charge. So. What? When you guys walk up the steps, this guy's asleep. So each guy can only, like, do one attack. Everybody only gets one attack of opportunity unless you have a special feat that says you can do otherwise. So the first person, this first person to come up here will attack, will incur from this guy, but then everybody after that, he will be out. So then you guys can just run up. <laughs> We have, we have orcs orcs to sleep sleep and a guy who yeah, so there's only two people who are just lying down. <laughs> one's cracking up laughing, and the other one's like popping some Z's. <laughs> it's like they went out last night and got drunk, and one guy was laughing, and that guy passed out already. Are you out? All right, so uh, next is Loch Nolly. Um. I'm afraid you might have to provoke the attack of opportunity. Wait, does it get reset when it's his round? Like the orc's round? Yes. So, Loch Nolly, Orok, and Kabor would all be able to move before it resets. Uh, that might be worth it. To get Kabor and Orok, like, in better positions. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, Orok's getting attacked by two different guys right now. Potentially three. With the uh, spells going on, he's kind of. And don't trouble. forget the guy that's tucked behind in the corner. Like yeah. so, I have like four guys pegging me right now. I think the little drummer boy is just gonna be boosting. I think he's a bard, and he's just gonna be boosting okay. everyone else's. All right. All right. So, so it's my turn. turn. Yes. Yes. Um. Hmm. So I can. I, I, if I, 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 I put my attack, attack of opportunity, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. It just depends on who with him. Yeah, just yeah, just, just one, though, because the other guy's the asleep. Attack. Yeah, so if you move, like, here, for instance. You move here. Or well, there. You 20 feet of movement, right? Yeah. So it'll take you 10 to get up. So you can go... What about here? Uh, he's, he's pointing right... Right here, here. Just, you, can you can go there. Does that, does that, that a provoke provoke attack? Yeah, it, no matter where you go, as, as soon as you pass Joey, you're t provoking. So, okay. Okay. so this guy, this guy's I asleep. I would like to move here. Sure, sure, sure. That's actually yeah, pretty good because then you kind of wall off wall anybody off. else who uh, is trying to get behind you. So anyone behind you will be safe except for this guy. All right, so let me go ahead and roll. Oh, yeah, oh, I, I yeah. missed. Horribly. <laughs> so, the attack for opportunity missed. missed. What would you like to do? Um, I would like to cast Gaiden on Orok. Yep. So he gets another uh, plus one or something like that to his saves? Yeah. Uh, he just gets a uh, 
plus, plus one on a single roll. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's right. Plus one on a single roll. So he can pick to have plus two on any if he wanted. Because he still has mine. Yep. Yeah. But I yeah. didn't use it. Yes, yeah, so you could just get a plus two on a really sweet attack. May. May. Okay, so, okay, so if I. Pull out the wand. Is that an action? You, you, already, you already cast a spell, so you can't do anything else. Yeah, pulling out the wand would be an action. Yeah, it's a move action. Unless you have quick draw, then it's yeah. instant. Okay. Uh, so next is Orok. Hang on, I've my roll twenty derped on me. I mean, you derped on roll twenty. It is never wrong. A poor craftsman never blames his tools. Unless it is Tool's fault. Unless it broke in half. I guess, actually, yeah. I think the phrase is a poor craftsman always blames his tools because he's a poor craftsman. I don't know how it works. <laughs> you get the gist. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, why is the wait? 20 seconds to log into the... Because they make you uh, pay premium to get it in instantly. There's supposed to be ads there. Okay, here we go. In Hashtag we are. Blocker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I would like... So, how much... Can I, I do a move and then I can shoot? Right? Uh, if you take a 5 foot step... Yeah, are you trying to like move here? So, if I, if I moved here... Right, he would get an attack of opportunity, wouldn't he? You moving over here? If I moved yeah, here, yeah, this guy still has his attack of opportunity left. If you are in a square that he's provoking and you move out of it, he gets a free attack as you run away. So could I move here and he would not have it? No, he'd be behind you, so he'd still get a free one. You mean he took a five foot step here? Oh yeah, it would be a five foot step, wouldn't it? Uh, no, yeah, he would not get an attack of opportunity, but he would be in backstab position. Why is that? Because this guy's because Andrew would be facing this way, he's right here, right. and all this guy's do is step here and they get flanking. So I can't, I can't oh, yeah. attack, I can't attack him. Yeah, you can step you here can. and attack this way, but then this guy can take a five foot step, and then now he's flanking you. I mean, you could just attack this guy, or this guy, or this guy. I'm gonna attack this guy that I'm pinging. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll rotate you. Uh, I'm going to draw a draw yeah, falchion. Yep. Alright. I, right. I can't shoot. Let's see it. Yeah, that's plus, my, yep. plus my BAB. Yep. Okay. Definitely yeah. a hit. Uh, so just draw a uh, roll damage. Yes, sir. So I don't get a crit. I only get crit on natural rolls, right? Yeah. yeah, that would be really dumb. Otherwise, I'm just saying I get a crit on 18 on Felch. Oh, I'm aware. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs> Ooh, seven. Jeezy Pete. What the hell? Plus one. Yeah, Felch is two d yeah, four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I was like, like sweet when I was critting with these guys. So Maybe I rolled 18. an 11 and a 12 with my critical. Wait, don't all of these guys carry a falchion? Yes. Yes. Why haven't we been picking them up and using them? Because you need a special uh, training. Your merit, martial, you need martial weapon efficiency. Okay, it's number four. Would I have that? No. Definitely yeah. not. <laughs> no. It's plus one, right? So that's an eight. But I might. Yes, sir. All right, yeah. You knock this guy straight into rage. his ferocity. Just instantaneously. <laughs> Happy go lucky guy, instantly ferocious. He is not happy about that. Alright, next is Kabor. Alright, Kabor. You're free to move anywhere over here. Or just light this bastard up. Call yeah, this guy's the only guy like, that's... He's really kind of hanging out. This guy's, this, guy's, this, guy's, this guy's asleep. And this guy is already attacked. Uh, opportunity. Yeah, same, like, move over here. Jared, move back to me. Yeah. No, you can't hit anybody from there. Yeah, you can. can hit the drummer. You can hit the drummer and you can hit the guy behind and you can also hit the guy on the ground. Yeah, if he goes here, then you can hit like everybody. I agree with that, but 
but we'll let him decide. He can hit everybody. Jerry has 60 feet of movement, so technically he can just run in circles around the perimeter and just cause like a cyclone to appear. Yeah. He can hit that, everyone that way, everyone that way, and everyone here. He can't hit the second guy that just attacked. Well, that's because there's a dude in front of it. Are you sure you don't want to attack the drummer? He's got so much health. One more attack isn't going to do anything to him. We should kill these guys and then all focus on him. Because he's not even in his ferocity. Justin's yet. played some uh, some RPGs. He knows the strats. <laughs> Kill all the derps first. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's Dark Souls 101 right there. Kill the derps first. All right, Jared, who are you attacking, and what with? Jared, do you have any attacks that can like cone and hit a bunch of people? Do you not think about this? What'd you say, Joy? Like, can you? Does he have any attacks that? Burning hands is a cone. Like? What about, what about, what about, what about a, three people at once? Uh, burning hands would be able to hit this guy and this guy if you aim it properly. So you burn both of them. What if he aims it the other way, like towards? Well, then if he aims it, then you hit like everybody. Oh, <laughs> uh, actually, what's is it a fifteen foot cone? Yeah. Uh, if, if he, he stands it, here, he can hit. No, if he hit, if he, it's a fifteen foot cone, it would hit this square, all three of these squares, and all three of these squares. Ooh. Yeah. So you yeah, burn, you burn, burn this guy way. and this guy, and Lock and Lock would be safe. Yeah. yeah. You can burn the two on the left, or the two, or the dude and the drummer. Yeah, dude, definitely do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think. Let me here. I'll check the cool rule book. They have a, they have a cone guide. Yeah, it's like one and then three, three, yeah, or something like that. Thought. I mean, Jared, you could move up. He could just move up next to me, and then use it. Uh, he wouldn't hit this guy though, because it does like yeah. It does one shoot. square. This in front is of the one. Three squares and then three squares. This is the one, and then we hit all three of these, and then these three. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, it's one d four per cancer level. It goes, it goes one. Three, yeah, four. No, it goes one three three. So like the one in front of you, and then three, and then three. So he's only gonna hit you. Or... Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's only gonna hit you. But this one will hit. This one will hit the guy in front of Orok and Drummer Boy, or he can hit the, the guy asleep and the guy hiding in the corner. We gotta see if he hit it first. Is it a? It would be. Well, it would be probably good to attack the guy that's asleep. <clears throat> yeah, someone. They do have it. saving. They have saving throws for this too. Reflex takes half damage. Okay, so it's guaranteed damage. It's just reflex is half. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, go ahead and roll the damage, and then I'll roll the reflex saves. Wait, so who is he attacking? He's burning Drummer Boy and this guy right here. Oh. So seven nine. Nine. So they take nine or four for half because you round down. Mm -hmm. All right, let me check the reflex saves. I have so many tabs. Okay, okay. so I'm going to show you guys these reflex saves because it's more fun that way. So first we'll do the orc that's standing next to Orok. Fails. Yes. And then, because what's the, what's the DC? For reflex, is it 14 still? Uh, it's 14 for me. I don't know if it's 14 I, for him. It's like 14 for all the casters at this level, I think. All right, and then now we'll do... Probably, I'm not going to show you the dice, dice for the big guy because I don't want you to know his bonuses. Oh, oh. he rolled a nat 20. <laughs> all right, so the, this guy uh, will take full nine. So he is... Very negative. And Drummer Boy will take half. So right. these these two are both so negative. Drummer Boy both negative? Yep. Ferocity. Drummer Boy is not like ferocious yet. Twenty feet away. Yeah, from you the sound you sound twenty thousand feet away. I cranked his volume to two hundred percent on Discord and I still can barely hear him. 
So this is, um... Is he ferocious yet? Nope. Nope. That's 24. So... Yeah, no one's done a knowledge check for him yet. Because... Is he, is he, he can't be, is he a knowledge dungeon? He would be, yeah. let me look at the different knowledges. Where's my sheet of papers at? Knowledge Arcana, Dungeoneering, and Geography. He'd be a knowledge local. I do not. See, I, don't, I don't have that. No one have knowledge local? No. Nope. Unfortunate. So he is presumed bard. It's a good guess. As he's playing an instrument. <laughs> yeah. He's buffing everyone. But he's also... Yeah. Eh, never mind. I won't say anything else. Okay. Okay. Uh, next uh, is the orc's turn. Orcs. Oh, yes. Buckle down, everyone. So... I'm about to die right here. This Thanks, orc guys. right here is going to attempt a charge to push Kabor off the edge. Oh, God. <laughs> Can he five foot step? Kabor? Out of the way, yeah. No, it's, no. It's, it's, it's. I'm just rolling the charge here. So let me let me look up the exact rules on this. This is beautiful. I guess it would be a bull rush, not a charge, if I'm not mistaken. I think bull rush is the push. Bull rush. Um, yes, standard action. Okay, so okay. I'm going to attempt a CM... All right, so I'm going to do a CMB roll against Jared's CMD. Uh, what is, what is Kabor's CMD? 13. All right. Can I bottle cap this? Uh, sure. I'm going to bottle cap it. All right, All right, so the one and only glorious bottle cap. You guys still have the team bottle cap. What? what? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's not, not an actual not bottle cap. Bottle cap is the one that you guys get a bonus <laughs> and a thing later because for the uh, the uh, fuse hole through the floor situation. All right, so I, Andrew's I, turning in his bottle cap, so I get disadvantage on this. <laughs> so I will roll them both, roll and you guys will see. Oh my lord! Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, that's a that's a more than five critical. So he actually runs through, and I'm going to roll an acrobatics check to see if he stays on top. To see if he stays or he falls over, and I'm going to roll over this bottle cap too, just because it's thematically pretty amazing. So if he rolls under. A 14, and he gets a plus 2. So he rolls a 12 or lower, he falls off the side of the tower and falls down. Yes. It probably won't kill him either. The bottle cap is still active. Oh yeah. my god! Oh my god. <laughs> a Nat natural one, one! Nat 1 kills him. This guy falls, and he because he rolls a natural 1, he trips over his feet and falls and lands head first in the ground and breaks his neck on the ground. <laughs> And dies. <laughs> yes. Just blew, out, blew, out, blew out of his hand and right, in back. right into my hand. It's kind of like the end of Tarzan when what's his face gets like hung by the uh, vines. You know how like his machete falls in the ground, just kind of sticks there and wiggles. That's kind of what happens with this guy. This falchion sticks to the ground, just right next to him as he's just broken neck. That went so horribly bad. You know what? For that being so amazing and good timing, Andrew, I'm gonna give you your bottle cap back. Oh, yes. That was that was incredible. I love you, Kabor. <laughs> this guy just charged him, but it's wet. He can't see very well. Kabor's so fast. Trips, falls, breaks his neck, and is dead. All right. Well, that kind of that kind of ruined. What was? What's the worst? Josh trying to do that. Jared was trying to do that. It's it's a close contest. Um. That guy's asleep. Uh, this guy is going to attack uh, Loch Nolly. Um, 
16. All right, roll for damage. Oh, baby. I love it. Hey, well, you kind of you now know what a falchion's damage is, so that's kind of less exciting. Um, actually, I think I can just. I think these are secret. I don't get any bonuses to my. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay, so it's just done. Um, you take nine points of damage. Jesus. Yeah, baby. Oh, just kidding. Ten points of damage. I forgot that they have the music going on. Ten points of damage. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Damn it. All right. And then this guy is going to attempt to attack Orok. The one that's face to face with him. Seventeen. Sixteen. Yes. Don't you get the plus one? Uh, I don't know when you can use those. That's when he. It's not for. It's. It's plus when, when I roll. roll. Yeah, yeah, it's when I roll. Yeah. Uh, also oh, ten man. damage. Fudge. And okay. then this last guy over here is going to move here and chuck his javelin at Kabor. So I'm going to roll the hit. Uh, 16. What's his AC? I think it's okay. exactly, exactly 16 with the mage armor, right? Um, his AC is 13. Mage armor gives him 4. So that's 17. And I rolled a 16. So that's a miss. That is dumb. That could have been epic. Kabor Man, I try to hit Kabor. Fancy feet. Yeah. What were you saying, Joy? Kabor would be our stand. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's, he's sitting there, tries to get attacked by two different people, accidentally kills one, and just completely dodges the other guy. Um, all right, Valinar, it's your second turn under Sleepy, or under, not Sleepy, but Laffy Laughs. Uh, so now it's back to uh, Little Drummer Boy. Little drum boy, seeing how horribly his people are getting torn apart, is going to attempt another spell against. Hmm. Uh, against Kabor, because he's out in the open right there. And I need Kabor to make. Uh, what 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 good spells do I got going on here? I need you to make a will save. A very important will save. Ooh, what's your oh. will bonus? Um, three. Ooh, that is a fail. And you fall over with laughter. Oh my god. <laughs> For three rounds. Yes! So you are cackling with laughter. I'm going to have to pop them back with another one of my, so now my there's, slumbers. There's two people lying on the ground laughing. And one guy passed out. This guy is still beating that drum. Boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. And it is now Cicatrix's turn. All right. Get me out of the steps, first of all. <laughs> you can get up there without provoking anything. Here. Yeah. And... He's probably got bonuses against. Hit me magic. with it. He's <laughs> probably got bonuses against magic. Maybe. No way he doesn't. Um, can I by any chance shoot over the small man in front of me? With what? A spell? Yes. Um, how tall are you? 
six five. Yeah, I'll allow yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna I cast mean, you, you have two foot, two foot <laughs> You can cast slumber on Good lord. Actually I'm gonna cast misfortune on this guy. Oh no, it's even worse. Alright. That way we can actually hit him. So this is just a DC fourteen will save? Yep. Alright. Oh my oh god. god. <laughs> Alright, gang up on this guy. Oh <laughs> lord. All right. All, right. All right. That is the horrible. Uh, Lock uh, you're, you're up. There's now a guy who is very unlucky. Warren, what's your... What? You're, you're like a robot. What'd you say? You must know what Oroch's health Warren, is. What's your health? 15. Remember, you have your circle of healings, which heals everybody in an AoE. Yeah, he heals them. Nope, he nope. has selective channeling. So it's only allies. Yeah, he has selective oh. channeling, so he can choose only his allies. He gets that six yeah. times per day. I mean, this guy is misfortuned right in front of you. So you're almost guaranteed to hit on him. And that just, like, I roll twice and everything, so misfortune doesn't affect his AC at all. Uh, that's true. Um... <laughs> What did you say, John? Your, it's like what? Circle of Healing or something like that. It's one of your orange cards. Channel energy? Yeah, and that does not heal everybody. Range 35. Yeah, this this thing's... Wait, so that's not a, that's not a spell? It is a spell, but it, you get... It's like it's not like a normal spell. You get It's like it's like Jared's energy. Ray. You get it six times per day. So, yeah, this okay. is a 34. Um, what is the second trick? Second trick. 19 out of 25. All right, I will cast channel. All right, channel positive energy. Go ahead. Is it what a d6 plus your cleric level? It's 1d6 plus 1d6 slash odd level. So you're so you're you're odd you're at level three. So that's 2d6 then. Jesus. It's, it's right, every every odd level past that. So one, three, five, seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's two D six. Yep. That's so good. Can you can you just Yeah. So three So three. What does this card say? Um, it just says two D. It's just one D six plus one yeah, yeah. dies per odd level. Yeah. So there's no bonuses to that. Well, it says SP. Well, well, uh, that's how many. That's that's how many times you get to cast it. So three plus your crystal. Oh, okay. oh gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so everyone five gains five HP five. back. So you just that's twenty five HP you just healed in one spell. That's disgusting. You take any damage? Taking no damage. <laughs> That's because everybody tries to attack Jared. He's got like some weird like Felix Felicitas spell going on. You just die when you try to even attempt to get near him. Um, um, Alright. Uh Orak, you're up. Uh I'm gonna attack the The guy in front of you? Yeah. Alright. No, no, no. Hit me with fortune? it. Apparently, I don't think it affects his AC. Yeah, misfortune doesn't affect AC. He yeah, just rolled when he attacks. He just rolls twice and gets the lower. So his chance to hit is like zero. Oh, okay. Okay. Ability check, attack roll, saving throw, skill check. Uh, plus four. Yeah, that's a, that's a no. Okay. All right. All right. Next is Kabor. But he's on the ground laughing. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Ugh. Oh, thank you. I was like, man, what crappy spells you're gonna blast me with? Oh, none. All right, first round for Kabor gone. Now we're up to the orcs. All right, so first we're gonna start with Mr. Unlucky. He's gonna attempt to attack uh, Loch Nolly. It's right in front of him. I rolled twice. Take the worst. 
Oh man, that would have been. Oh man, that would have been a critical. Um, instead, I only get a measly twenty-two. What? What? All right, that's a hit. I rolled very high on both of those, and they may or may not have a huge buff to hit with this special thing going on. Should put him to sleep. Holy crap! All right, so roll for damage here. Um, ten damage. How much health do you have left? Well, did you oh. add your five from last time? Your circle heals you too. Yeah, yeah, I did. Jeez, you're low. <laughs> All right. Um, next is the guy who's gonna attack Orok. He's not misfortuned. Uh, Twenty-three. Sixteen. All right. Oh my lord. Um. Oh, I forgot to add that. You got the shocking grass oh, right again. I, I'll just allow it. I forgot to add the extra damage to Scott, but that's okay. Uh. Seven, Seven points of damage. That's minimum damage. Sure. <laughs> All right. And then the third guy is going to... Am I coming through Scott's phone again? Yeah. Scott, stop getting phone calls. He's too popular. He's going to... Pull out another javelin and attempt to. He's actually gonna take a five foot step. Oh, can I, I can't reach. Freaking Loch Nolly's in the way. Alright, he's gonna chuck a spear at. Man, his own buddy's in the way. Cabord is. Oh, he's on the floor. Alright, he's gonna take a move action and pull out his, his javelin, but he can't throw it. So, he's got a javelin at the ready. All right. All right. All right. And next is Valinar, who finally stops, stops laughing. laughing. But you are lying on the ground, so you can spend your move action to stand up. Well, I think I'll stand up. All right. <laughs> you don't have to. I mean, you can stay down. It's fine. Your sanctuary is also going to be over here in a few rounds. So, or, uh, as soon as uh, Lock and Ollie rolls around. So just keep that in mind. Alright. You stand up. Stand you still up. have a standard Don't action left. Please, please touch me. Yeah, definitely do that. Definitely touch him. Yeah, lay on hands. I don't think that would even matter. He's at 4 yeah. HP. Yeah, how would that not matter? I'm gonna, I'm gonna die, die, dude. If if I have four HP, this no. guy still attacks. This guy still attacks. Only one. I, I go, go before they do. do. The only, the only person who can kill me right now is the drummer. drummer. So, you so you need to heal me. I like how Joey okay. was arguing for his life to get the sanctuary spell, and then yeah. as soon as he gets up, the guy who gave him the sanctuary spell is like, "Now nah, you're good." <laughs> Chaotic <laughs> neutral. <laughs> What are you going to do, Bob? There's also a guy uh, sleeping right next to you on the ground that you've not attacked uh, whatsoever. I know. When does he wake up? Uh, next turn. Next round. Next turn. And how much attack do we get on him? Well, He gets a minus four to his AC. I'd just say leave him because he starts to stand up. Just heal me. Oh, yeah, he is lying down. I got to... He stands up, he can still attack. Just, just, just heal, heal me. We're just we're just standing here healing. We're not doing any healing. Well, I mean, you're, you're the one that was laying on the ground for. <laughs> <laughs> so one guy ran off the edge, and the drummer has taken like 24 points in damage. What do you mean we haven't done anything? 
In the past, you guys just heal back, back and forth. Tickle each other a little bit, and then we'll kill, we'll kill everyone else. Just do whatever you want. Heal, lock, knowledge. All right. All right. Roll it. Roll it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> do you get any bonuses to that? Do you get, like, plus yeah. charisma or plus something? No, it's plus, just... You don't get, like, plus cast level or anything? It's just straight heal? No, it's just 1d6 per two levels. Oh, so yeah, um, so you... Um, uh, I mean, you start level 1, so you, you get 2d6. That's the same thing as Scott's. He gets 1d6 every odd level. So you roll another one. 6. <laughs> Alright, you hit him for three. Hey, that could be enough. That could be enough. I would love to heal all my guys 3 HP. Oh, wait, you're going to. Uh, no. I can't do that. Uh, there's there's no healing going on here. They do minimum seven. Yeah, minimum seven right now, because they're... Yeah. The drummer boy is going before they go again. Uh, actually, it's German Boy's turn right now. All right. So, All right, so when he come, when he goes to Drum Boy's turn, you notice that he slows down the drum beat and they stop glowing that red as it is now ended its duration. Thank God. That was three rounds, or five rounds. He started early. So, as his drum starts to slow down, you can uh. You can see he's get he's pretty exhausted from just banging on these drums all the time, and uh, he's just he's kind of uh, not really been doing anything. So he is going to drop his drum kit, and he is going to pull out this gnarly looking battle axe, and he is going to move. Fuck. <laughs> What's his movement? Well, guys, I'm about to die. He's gonna move five uh, feet. Orak is stabilized. And he is going to attempt to two-handed attack, like double hands on his a on this huge battle axe, and just slice at Lucknolly. Can I bottle cap? Uh, I mean, you can. I don't want you to, but you can. <laughs> I'm going to bottle cap. Oh, my God. All right, so I'll roll twice. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, yeah. That seven actually probably might have made it, but that four is definitely not. And he misses. Just the exhaustion from beating the drums, he just he just can't pick up that heavy battle axe and, and hit properly. What's your damage on that, though? On my battle axe? Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> 1d10, or like 1d20. Uh, it's it's good. <laughs> It's probably like 2d10 or something. Uh, and that's it for his turn. So he's now moving. His drum's gone. Just sitting on the ground. And Cicatrix, you're up. Oh my god. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, I got you, dude. Man, I could have killed him. It would have been great. I know you could. I know you could. That would have been sick. I would have died. died. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, can I cast Slumber on this guy? Uh, yeah, he's not been targeted yet. No, it's I'll only target that guy. Yep. All right, go for it. I really hate this slumber hex. It's annoying. You gotta go for it. Oh yeah, it's me in it. Hey, let's go! Oh my god. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> he's good. He's he's cool. Do you want to move he's at all good. or anything? Uh, yes. Okay. Give me my mouse back, Scott. <laughs> Taking it from me. Oh, by the way, at the end of your turn, this guy's waking up. You're the one who put him to sleep. Yep. Does he have to spend a move action? Right? Yes, he has to spend a move action to stand up. Gotcha. But, but I'm right in front of him. Yep. And, jo yeah. and uh, Justin's right behind him, so that's immediate flanking bonus. All right, All right. next is Lachnolly. What would you like to do? 
Okay. Yo, you know, whip it yeah. out. Do something. Heal yourself. There's somebody dude. behind you. There's two pe- three people in front of you. Okay. If I pull out my wand, what is that? That's a move action. Also, uh, you'd have to roll a check because that would provoke. Use a spell. Fuck. Because you you put you essentially put both your hands. You have an AOE heal. You have six per day. Yeah. Also, he can cure light wounds on himself. Yeah, he, he gets two of those, right? I mean, he would roll twice. He has a spell. Yeah, his spell actually he gets his his uh, cleric level as a bonus, unlike the wand. Yeah, you cure light wounds on yourself. So what's plus one? What's plus one? Yeah, you're you're, you're three, three, so you get plus three. Now, you can move backward. Before you do this, the dude standing by you does not have an attack of our... That is correct. But he can only take a five-foot step, because if he took any more than that, he'd provoke yeah. two attacks of opportunity from the two guys in front of him. Yeah, just take a five-foot step back. Uh, I'd have to move him, so I'll Wait. do that. Yeah. Wait, yeah. If you move more than five feet when somebody's within melee range with you, then you provoke. Because that's, that's fleeing. So you have to do what's called a full withdrawal, which is your whole turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, go ahead and roll it. What, 2d6? It's 1d8 plus 3, so that's 4. Uh, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Torag is not happy with you. Hey, you know what character's open? You pip? <laughs> oh, that's, that's hilarious. Okay, uh, next is Orok. Oh, this most fortune's gone. That only lasts one round. Let's get rid of that crap. I'm gonna swing at the guy in front of me again. Yep. Yep. You didn't hit this guy in like ages. Twelve plus three plus one. That's a hit. Sweet. Roll for damage. Two. Shit. Plus plus two. Plus one. So three. Three. Oh man! If it had been just a little bit higher, you would have died. Thanks, Josh. That's what I'm here for, man. <laughs> oh, wow, if only was one more, he wouldn't die. Uh, not shot. one more, but he's pretty close. Uh, uh, next is Kabor. Alright, Kabor's done. Next is the orcs. <laughs> you suck so bad. <laughs> next turn, he'll be uh, he'll be back to normal, though, so... Does he have to stand up, though, or is he just He laughing? does have to stand up. That's on a move action. You can blast someone after that. Yeah. yeah this would be a perfect cone. Yeah, he can really just set everybody on fire. That's what I was thinking. Alright, so, first orc is going to turn and attack Orok. Awesome. Yeah. This is the worst tower I've ever been in. (laughs) Oh, man, I lose my huge plus to hit bonus. That sucks. I only rolled a 19. 16. Man, I would say I'm sorry, but I'm really not. I know you're not. I also lose my damage bonus, too. That sucks. Oh, that's okay. Uh, 11 points of damage. I almost max. Okay. That's beautiful. All right, and then this guy next to him is also going to attack you. Awesome. Yeah, I know, right? 15. 16. Oh, uh, that ain't that just a bummer. Whew. This third guy is going to take a five foot step and is going to attack Kabor, who's on the ground with a minus four to AC. So his AC is a very juicy 13. Natural three. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was going to get some sweet damage. <laughs> 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 not moving and the guy can't hit him. 
He just like he just starts laughing so hard like he like does a like a uh a sit up and oh, just hits right where he was. Oh my gosh, that's unbelievable. Oh this guy's this guy's still gotta go. He's gonna stand up. I forgot about this guy. And he oh, like, how'd you forget about him? I haven't used him in three rounds, he's been asleep. This is his first action. He's gonna pivot and he's going to swipe at Mask Dude. That's me. Oh, yeah. Uh, 22 to hit. You have to say that's a hit. Man, I was one away from a critical. Oh, would have been good. Would have been good. Stuff and things? Don't worry about it. He lost some of his bonuses. Doesn't mean he doesn't have his own. Uh, seven points of damage. All right. All right, next is Valinar's turn. You got a guy in front of you. You got a guy to your left. No, to your right. We got to kill someone. At least one of these guys. The guy on your right has not been hit yet. This guy's in Ferocity, right? Yep. I mean, you can also try This and guy's heal. not been hit. This guy's not been hit. These two guys are both not very good. Yeah, just holding down the fort over here, guys. Don't forget. Just take a five. Is this guy have a backstab on him? You get a flanking bonus, a plus two to hit. If you hit this guy. I don't know if hitting him is going to do anything. It might get him a frost, like in a ferocity, but we need to kill someone. Yeah. Or heal. So if you're gonna attack, attack this guy. Yeah. yeah, you can try and block so that way he has to hit you instead of hitting a little No. <laughs> um He the one would get a free attack on. No they wouldn't, it's a five foot step. Oh that's right. So I'll do that. Alright, who are you attacking? This guy. Okay. Alright. Let's see it. See it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh, you're wow. lucky I haven't made my own critical, like, I was gonna go to the glass cannon page. They have their own custom critical fumbles. But I, I haven't gotten those yet, so we're just gonna call that just a straight up miss. But there's some pretty brutal ones that I'll eventually have, so that'll be a fun time. Uh, nice one. Nice. Uh, Can I just roll like a like a? You had like three twenties earlier. I know, but now I roll a one. It's like I can't go in the middle at all. Can, uh, all, right, all right, next yeah. is the drummer's turn. God, I can't. And this drummer is going to take a five foot step. Like a condition of the spell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, looking at this defenseless guy on the ground, is going to attempt to swipe at a completely defenseless Kabor. Uh. Uh. Yeah, you're, 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 that's five foot step, baby. That's a group bottle cap. You already used your bottle cap. Group. Group. Group bottle cap? You want to turn in the group bottle cap? Huh? I don't know. It's up to them. Hey, we're done. Andrew, Gondor is calling for aid. For what? He wants to use the group bottle cap from, instead of getting an advantage later, he wants to use it to uh, give me disadvantage on this attack on Kabor who's lying on the ground. Yeah, yeah, let's use Yeah, yeah. We need a unanimous vote here, does everyone agree? For what? Uh, I get disadvantage, so we're going to use your group bottle cap to make me roll twice to take the worst result on this attack on Jared. Because the big guy's about to. I'm yeah. yeah. Four boy is about to lay the smack down on, on a Kabor. Split him in half. Uh, his health is eighteen. His AC is twelve right now. I I'm. I mean, it's up to you guys. I think that I think that I say use it. All right, so we have one. We have. Valinar says use it. Oraku says use it. Kabor, do you want to use it? It's your body. Alright, Kabor says yes. 
So, Cicatrix and uh, Loch Nolly, what do you say? I mean, I, I, I don't necessarily agree, but... No, then keep fighting, then. No, keep fighting. So we're not going to so, use it? I mean... He, he, he didn't agree, so we all have to agree. Well, he's, he's, asking, he's asking Justin. Um, I think his damage is... 2d10. Does he get bonus damage if someone's laying on the ground? Um, uh, no. No. I think it's gonna it's be two d ten minus plus. AC. I can check. Let me look. Plus like five damage or something. Uh, I, I'll look up prone oh, yeah. real fast, and if it is plus the damage, then you, that might change your guys' decision. I think it's entirely possible that he could kill him in one shot. It's not gonna kill him. He'll definitely go unconscious. Uh, and then, okay, so I just learned something. So, it's a, he gets a plus four bonus to AC against ranged attacks, but a minus four against melee attacks, which I already knew. But standing up also provokes an attack of opportunity, so this guy will get a stab at him. Jared will have to stand up, and then he gets to stab him again. Oh. That's two, I don't think he can live two attacks. I know before going to Matt going to Matt but really if you say yes really if you say yes if you say yes to use it, I will agree and say yes to use it. I will agree. Yeah. Alright, it's a lot of pressure on Justin here. Yeah, it's got some basic <laughs> What was it gonna be used for the next time? So essentially I have the group pile cap, I said that I'll give you guys an advantage later. For a certain situation that's coming up, it has not come up yet. Or you can turn it in for situations like this. I don't see what could really be more dire than the whole party dying right now. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think the whole party is going to die. I mean, if he dies, that's that's all our damage. That's all our damage going on. That's another person gone. So that means that's two more then people I'm, onto another person. And then I'm the ADC. Then I turn into the ADC. And you have two guys on you right now. I think we need to use Whatever it. Whatever you decide. I think we need to use it. All right. Because I don't think the advantage later on is really going to be big enough. All righty. That is, that is enough. And I'm going to roll twice, and I'll show you guys. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Second roll. Oh, that is a definite hit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's roll some damage. Oh, baby. What's my bonus to this? Oh, that could be so much better. I'm disappointed. Oh, man. I rolled terribly. Uh, only seven points of damage. That's that's weak. It's only half his life, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's only half of his life. That's okay. I get to hit him again when he stands up. It's all good. All right. Next is Cicatrix, who's just ran upstairs for some reason. Man, we're going long tonight, boys. I was gonna try yeah, to end this I'm combat really before I end this, this session. Josh, what? Short. P, E, N. Pencil? Pencil? Justin has one. Justin. I'll wait till he gets back to write down. Justin, it's your yes. turn. Okay, I'll keep track of your health. What did you just start at? Eighteen. You took seven. Yes, sir. It's down to eleven. There, I got you. I got you. Babe. What is Justin <sighs> doing? I think he's talking to your dad. Oh, of course. Yeah. 
It's your turn. Your turn. Um. I can't do anything besides attack this guy in front of me. Well, it makes your decision pretty easy. You could probably take a five step up and then cast Blummer on the drummer guy. But he, like he's dead, he probably has bonus. He's like in if you want a bonus, yeah. you could take a five foot step and get flanking with Lock and Ollie. Um. <laughs> I'm going to. Cast hold person on this guy. What is what? that? Uh, subject become par becomes paralyzed and freezes in place. Do I have a save? Will negate. Oh yeah, these guys are super willful. And it's one round per my level. That's a fail. That's three rounds. Oh. Nice. So he's stuck in place. He par he's paralyzed. Awesome. Can he attack or do anything? Or can yeah, he just he, he's paralyzed completely. Like he just can't move. I'll go back to oh Jesus. Uh, that was oh, okay. Me. And these are wrecking me. Please. Purely mental action. Yep. Yep. Can't do anything. Zero dex. Zero strength. He's helpless. Awesome. Do I have any penalties to AC at all? Um. <laughs> This is a spell, right? Not a hex. This is a spell. Okay. Um, the subject may, at each round on its turn, the subject may attempt a new saving throw to end the effect. It's a four-round action and does not provoke an attack for opportunity. Okay, so I get to save every round. Yeah. All right. Still hate it. <laughs> uh, Lock and Ollie, you're up. All right, I'm going to do a uh, table of of energy. Yep. Yep. Oh, God. All right. I went to. I thought your circle was just. Oh, it is two, isn't it? That's yeah, 11 that's points of healing. Holy cow. That is much needed. That is insane. So, it, you can't go more than what yeah, you're Yeah, you just go up to top. Yeah. There's no overhealing. Wow, back, 11 back points. Back to full. Yeah. That's in a few week heal 11. Uh, yeah, I'm back to full. That heals like everybody back to full almost. Yeah, good joke. <laughs> uh, well, you speaking of good jokes, Orok, you're up. How much? All right, I'm going to attack him again. Guy right in front of you? Yep. Yep. Seven? So you're back to full? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah. Thirteen plus five. five. Yep. That's a hit. Or four. Thirteen plus four. That's still a hit. Cool. Oh, two D four. Shoot. Sorry. Sorry, guys. We gonna? Yeah. I can program a hockey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. He's dead. 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 Thank dead. God. Oh, Thank God. Okay. Now, can I five foot step over yonder? Like diagonal? Yep. Uh, there's a corner right there, but I'll allow it. Thank we'll just say you kind of slink over. Okay. Cool. You're, you're hurting. Uh, all right. Next uh, is Kabor, who is now free from his entanglement of laughter. So, would you like to stand up? Can he shoot from the ground? A spell? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing that says he can't, so I'll allow it. So that doesn't provoke your opportunity, then. I'm just saying, you can magic yeah, missile the dude right in the... Yeah, he still gets a minus to his AC, though, if he's still on the ground. Yeah. But yeah, he would not provoke. But he can still, he can still shoot a magic missile in the guy's face. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. He's in he's in melee range. You could just grab his ankle and burn him, or whatever. I don't know what spells you have. Laser beam him. Whatever you want. Burning hand. 
Uh, yeah, that would hit. You can hit. I think with diagonal. Big boy and this guy. Yeah. Yeah. It hit. It hit. Uh, yeah. What? What Justin said. It wouldn't hit this guy. This guy would be fine. It hit this guy and this guy. Oh. Uh, three, then three. All right. Uh, roll damage, then I'll roll for saves. For half. All right, so six, so half would be three. All right, so, oh, is it three guys? Okay, so it's eight, so half would be four. So I'm gonna first roll big guy. Uh, that's a fail, and then small guy. Was this a will save? And this is a fortitude save, isn't it? What's the save? Will fortitude? I need to know. For what? This burning hand. Burning hand? Yeah. Reflex. Oh, for reflex. Half. Yeah, for half damage. Ooh, is DC fourteen? Uh oh, still oh. fails. All right, so they both take full damage. So eight damage. Yeah. yeah. So they just get blasted with flame, and Drummer Boy is now raging. Or ferocious. You finally knocked him down. When did and the other, the other guy, the other guy is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Literally just gets cooked to a crisp and dies. Oh, man. My guys are dying. I don't like this. Good job, Jay. Alright. All right. He's still on the ground. Next is the orcs. I only have two. One can't move. So do I get to attempt to save on my turn or your turn? It'd be my turn, right? Yeah. yeah. For the uh, paralyzed Justin? Paralyzed. What? The save. save. When do I get to roll that on my turn? Uh, it's your turn, yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and roll that. Alright. Is it a will save? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it, I have a minus one, so that's a 13. <laughs> so he's still paralyzed. Oh man. Uh this guy is going to take a stab at Kabor on the ground. Oh my god, a natural five. Jared's unkillable. He's a machine. I don't know what it is. Well he did take seven points of damage. Oh my lord. All right. All right. Next is Valinar. How do you how do you intimidate? You trying to scare the guy? Or like taunt? Oh, you trying to like provoke him? Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, you I mean, can say whatever you, whatever you want, want, but he would have to listen to it. But he would have to listen. Yeah. Like, yeah, like there's no there's like, like there's no like, like corralling like in like D and D or in like, uh, World of Warcraft or anything like that. Like, if you want someone to attack you, they have to want to do it. He's not an idiot. If he sees a juicy target, he's not going to go after you instead. So you're just going to have to hit him. And I can't, like, five foot step here and then attack him from behind. Uh, you can do that. The other guy's dead. You get a plus two to hit. So it'd be a net plus one because you have a minus one to hit already. Let's see it. Well, so I get a plus two to hit because I, I have a oh. plus three. Yeah, you, you, you don't get a plus two to hit because Jared's on the ground. So you don't get thinking. So... Mm -hmm. You don't get a flanking don't bonus if someone's bonus. lying down. Because they're not uh -oh. threatening the square. So it's just Gosh. normal. So yeah, so you might as well just... I mean, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Oh. Attack him. Yep. 
<laughs> what? Damn it, dude! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He, he's a true tank. He Fuck's follows, sake. Follows the oh, law to the letter. Fighting with a goddamn wooden sword right now. <laughs> you, have a, you have the best sword <laughs> of everybody. Here's his masterwork. Alright, so now it rolls back around to the drummer. Uh, he's going to take a five foot step back. And he is going to drink something. Oh my god. Is he still Ooh. ferocious? Ooh, let's... What does this even do? Oh, oh. my gosh. Alright, so let me go ahead and roll this. Yeah, yeah. baby. All right. You notice he looks a lot peppier. Is he out of ferocity? Uh, you guys can roll a check for that. I want to tell you what the what the potion is. It's probably like a greater healing potion. All right. Next is Cicatrix's turn. Um, well, this guy's worthless right now, so. Um, I'm going to walk. Well, we still need to kill him, though. Uh, we can kill him later. You gotta roll an acrobatics check if you wanna roll through an enemy square, even if he's paralyzed. I'm thinking an acrobatics check? Yeah. It's pretty low, pretty but low. you still gotta do it. Uh, alright. What happens if I fail? You bump into him. What does that do? You don't move. Oh yeah, you're oh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Just walk right around walk right him. Around. All right, I'm uh. Did I cast uh slumber on this guy yet? You on on that guy? That yes, guy. not on drummer boy. He got a natural yeah. twenty. Um, I'm actually, hold on, let me, I want to see how, what's the range on mage armor? You can only touch yourself with it. No, you can't. Yeah, mage armor you cannot put on anybody else. The range is self. Range is touch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can only do it on yourself. Oh, no, you're oh, right. Ooh. What is this? Yeah, you can do it on anybody. I only touch, though. I <laughs> the wrong direction. Yeah, if you wanted to sit here, you should have just watched it. Kabor already out. has my drummer on. Oh, you can't stack? No. Um. I guess I'll uh, try slumber on the big boy. Okay. Let's see what his resistances are. Uh, what is this? What will is save? This? Will save. Uh, where's my saves at? Okay. Oh, yeah, he oh, passed okay. with flying colors. Uh, 19. Yeah, that'll do it. Alright. All right. Next is Lock Nolly. That's nice, fellow. Attack the dude. The paralyzed dude? Hold on, I gotta wait. Oh, you're good, dude. No, are you? Um... Hmm. So, so if I, I take a five foot step, step I, do I do not, not provoke an attack. Yeah, that guy is super paralyzed. 
damage. Mm-hmm. Um. So, so if, if I, I move, move, damn it! If I move, if I move here, here, here. Oh, whoops, yeah, here. No. I, don't, I don't provoke an attack. No, no. And you can hit either one of them. Okay. 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 I would like to move there. Yep. And. and with my, With my weapon, weapon out, I, I would like, like to attack, attack the uh, uh, that orc, the little one, has not been hit yet. I would like to attack the orc with my non-lethal lethal hammer uh, to stun him. Yeah. Yeah. So, I will roll. What's your bonus? bonus. BAB plus strength. Where's the BAB? Um, A little bit underneath your saves. Like reflex, will, all that stuff. On the left side of the front page. Uh, 14. 14? Mm -hmm. Son of a gun. That's a hit. Okay. And then it says 1d4. Oh, so you're doing... Uh, yeah, that'd be non-lethal damage. Unless you, I thought you were going for a stun. I am. What? Do I have to roll the d4 for... I can't even find stun. Where is... To look up stun. Yeah, go look up under conditions and go to stun here. Yeah, I think it's like... You get a minus to your AC or something. Yep, minus 2 to AC. Okay. Okay. So, you, so the stun would forfeit stun. the damage because you're going for the stun. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Do I, yeah. You succeed. For how many turns? Um. Do you want me to roll for that? Oh my oh. gosh. It lasts for one round, but I also drop every single thing I'm holding. So he drops his weapon. He has, minus, he has a minus two penalty to AC for one round and drops everything that he's holding in his hands. And loses all of his dex bonus to AC. Holy cow. Okay. What's his, let me see what his dex bonus is. Um, oh, it's none. So, yeah, okay. Next would be Orok, you're up. All right. If I quick draw, do I say what? Say what? Say if what? I quick draw, can I do a full round action? Um. Yeah, because you yeah. have you have quick draw, so that that's a swift action. So yes, you can full round. Okay, I'd like to drop and shot the big guy then. Yep. And can I use my two hits on it? Uh. You, uh yeah. You yeah, yeah, yeah. you saw those plus ones. You yep. do one each. Yep. Sure. sure. Oh, that rolled from a 7 to a 17. Yeah, that's a hit. Oh my gosh, that's also a hit. Nice. Right. What's the, what's the, what's the damage? Plus dex, so it's 4. Yep, what's the other one? Four again. So right. eight. Uh, you notice uh, that he goes back into his ferocious state, so he was out of it, but now he's yeah. back into ferocious again. Eat a dick. Uh, all right, Kabor. Right. If you stand up, only one, the little guy will get the only attack of opportunity on you. And he doesn't have a weapon. And, oh yeah, so he had to punch you. In the face. Which, actually, I'm not even going to say he punches you in the face because he's too busy trying to pick up his... He's stunned. So Magic missile. You going to stand up in magic missile? You can stand up, no problems. The guy's stunned. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who are you magic missling? Little drummer boy or orc? All right. All right. 
Roll it. Roll it. <laughs> this is guaranteed hit, right? Yeah, it's pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Josh don't sound so salty. Oh, what are you talking about? It's a great spell. I love it. Wait until I get it. I'll have my revenge. I know you will. So is that five points of damage? All right. All right. He's not looking good. Uh, next is the orc's turn. I'm gonna go ahead and roll a save here. Oh my oh, gosh! God. It's a minus <laughs> one, so I'm <laughs> DC 14 minus one, I get 13 again! <laughs> Holy cow, so he's got. Next round, he's guaranteed out of it, though. Jeezy Pete. Alright, All right. and then this guy is going to. Uh, seeing that his uh, master is getting attacked, he can't do anything about magic, he's going to attempt to attack Lock and Ollie. With his fist? Uh, move uh, action move is action. picking up his weapon. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, uh, 17. Hit. Nice. Um, and that is 11 points of damage. Oh my fuck. <laughs> Almost max. Oh. And that's it. So back to Valinar. There's a paralyzed boy right behind you. Joy. Either five foot step and kill the drummer dude. Or touch me. Touch my pare. I can't. Ugh. It's a classic <laughs> video. I, I think it's touching my body. Right? Just leave this guy here the whole time. That he's... Then go for it. No one else is oh, going to can, about it. Oh, we can, we can gank him. Huh? If we, if we kill everyone. If everyone else is dead, I think we got him. Yeah, I don't think that he's... I don't think we should worry about him. I think we should worry about the... A guy who has a minus two to his AC, and a guy who's in front. So this this guy doesn't have minus two, does he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. does. He's done. Okay. It's and so it's until uh, it's until uh, Scott's next round for the minus two. He picked up his weapon, but the minus two is until Scott's next round. I will move there. Yep. Which one are you attacking? All right, little guy. He's not been hit yet. Fun fact. Uh, what's your bonus? Uh, plus three. Yeah, because you had, was it like plus five minus two? Mm -hmm. plus, plus one. That's plus. Yeah, plus five minus two. Y yeah. All right, so that's a 15. Yeah. Oh, you lucky duck. All right, go ahead and roll damage. Awesome. Plus your strength plus mod, so two plus what? One. All right. All right. Still damaged. Damage. That's the first time he's been hit. Three damage, yeah. There you go, Joey. You're getting, You're getting there. All right, next All right. is next All is right. the drummer. Who, uh, who uh, feeling this threat next to him, is going to attack Valinar. Cool. Oh yeah, uh, twenty two. Play you? Is it? Okay. Yes. I love getting hits on Joey. Uh nine points of damage. You piecing out, Jared? Alright. Alright. Uh I'll just since we're this combat's almost over, instead of having you push and like vanish and fire, I'll just We'll just have Justin play for you because it'll be like one more round tops. All right. Next up is Cicatrix. 
All right. Yeah, it's midnight. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. This will not end. So the the back wall got blown out, right? There is, there is no wall. So there's like rubble all over the ground? It's You guys are on top of a tower. It's just kind of flat with like little crenellations, but they're easily... You can easily right. just go over it. Hmm. So can I like move here and then take a five foot step? No. No. If you if you do a move action, then that that'd be your full move action. You can't five foot step if you take a move action. Your five foot step is your move action. It just doesn't provoke. Um, all right, well, I will put mage armor on. You think you're going to need it, Joey? Am I? He's yeah. 21. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, you can put it on Lock Nolly. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll put it on Lock Nolly. You just going to move behind him? Yeah. I believe it's touch. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Uh, this guy's no longer paralyzed, so we'll get rid of that. And next is Lock Nolly. Um. So if I five foot step, I do not provoke. Correct. Um, I would like to five foot step next to Jared. Here. Oh, okay, sure. Is he allowed to stand on a body? Yeah, the body's yeah. dead. Okay. <clears throat> and then two bodies makes it uh, um difficult terrain. I will cast. Um, guidance on was it touch or is it just okay? So it's touch. Um, I will cast guidance on Alnar. Yep. 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 I get plus one on a roll. Yep. To hit roll, I would assume. All right. So. That's, That's my action, right? Yep. yep, yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Orok, you're out. Rapid fire. Nick, yeah, you have precise shot, right? Yes, sir. Does that work with any amount of allies in front of you? Because you have two. Well, do you want to just say it's just one? Why don't you just five foot step? Yeah, I mean, I can. You can, I can five, five foot step, step then, right here. Yeah, then you're good. Then you want to do that? Yep. Plus three. That's a hit. That's Plus not. three. So one hit. The one hit. Okay. Plus two. Seven. And as you hit him with this arrow. He kind of stumbles and falls over the backside of the tower, dead. Yes. Get wrecked. Just a super dramatic fall right off the side. Get wrecked. All right. Uh, next is Kabor. Um, what should Jared do? I don't want to waste uh, these big spells when there's just two little guys left. He just asked his question. I'll beat him with his cane. Sure. sure. Whatever you guys want. You can just do. You can just do acid. Do, do acid I think his staff does more damage. It does. His acid flush is one d three. His staff does one d six. Staff it up. 
Oh, for yes, we'll do oh. one. Yep, so that's a miss. Fuck, he has so many spells. Yeah. yeah, man, he's a sorcerer, that's what he does. Alright, next is the orc's turn. This first orc is going to let out a howl of rage. And is going to... Oops. Take a five foot step. And attack Kabor. Oh, he fell off. <laughs> Ooh, that's a definite hit. Is he standing up yet? Yeah, he's standing up. Oh, yeah. maximum damage. 12 damage. So, Kabor is severely injured with that. Is he unconscious? I don't think so, because he got healed to full with that plus 11 to everybody. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess right here. What was that, minus what? <laughs> Six. Yes, yeah. yes, she should have six left. And this other guy is going to take one, uh, is going to provoke an attack of opportunity. Actually, no, he's not. He can take a. Yeah, he provokes attack of opportunity from. Oh, you're, you're facing the opposite direction. No, he doesn't. He's good. He's going to hightail it down the stairs and flee. So he is downstairs. So. You guys don't know where downstairs he is. He's just down there somewhere. And next is Valinar. There's just one guy on the ledge here. Can you push him off the edge? What, like this is Sparta? He might not die. Yeah. It's not that high up. Can I tackle him off the edge? You would go with him. You need you need the bull rush feet in order to uh, push somebody. That's what the other guy tried to do. Yeah, I don't have that. Oh, that's a bummer. Can you five foot step and stabby stab? Yeah, you get a plus yeah. one to hit. Stabby stab. All right, let's see it. Can't wait for this natural three. Oh, <laughs> that's close. <laughs> That's a miss. You get the bonuses. Next, it's Sickatrix. You gonna run downstairs, Sickatrix? Um, should I? I don't know. Yeah. It's up to you. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll chase. I'll chase too. What's your movement speed? Chase. Uh, thirty. Okay. So go ahead and move yourself thirty. 15, 20, 25. So he gets to the so base of landing. Be, you'd be here. There? Yeah, because... Oh, is this not the same staircase? Just, it is, but yeah, once you go down here, then you go left, which is here, and then here, then here, then here. Oh, then I there. thought this was just the same thing. No, it's a, yeah. it's a double spiral. Alright, so All right. let me calculate the amount of distance this guy moved. You, you can double move. Oh, uh, alright. Can I do like a perception check? Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's he's right here, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is he running away? Yes. So I can run up behind him and hit him? That's a double move, so I can do yeah, anything. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. All right. Uh, so uh, next would be Lacknali. Uh, uh, like um, I just moved you so I can grab you. You're underneath the, or you're on top of the dead body. I'll I'll double move in this case as well. Oh yeah, Mr. Speedy over here. You know there's a guy still alive up here. Um, I mean. You'd end up right here if you're chasing. I would stay with us because Kabor's almost dead. Okay. You well, could I mean, five foot yeah. step and heal him. Uh, you pull up the wand as your move action. Yeah. I will pull up the wand and then five foot step and yeah. heal. All 
Alright. Add three Zoom. back. Alright. Orak, you're up. So, question. Yes, sir. Said orc is gonna end up, like, right here, correct? Uh... Like the one running away? Yes. You know the doors are over there, but you don't know where he is. Could I realistically stand right here? Like right there and what? Like And peer out and wait for him? You know there's a uh, living orc ten feet away from you from right there. I do. I'm just curious. Like if I ended up yeah, right yeah. here. Yeah, you can yeah. move here. running and peg him. From like, up top. You can run here and pull out your bow, and then after he runs next round, you'll be able to shoot at him. What is that too far, or would that be the That's distance? Fine. I mean, okay, you're so like, I will. Let me count. You're 40 feet up, so. Okay. We so, to, I could actually do like Pythagorean theorem to calculate the distance if you'd like me to. So, can I stand right here? <laughs> sure. Okay. Stand right here, and I want to shoot this guy though first. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. go for it. And then, yeah. One shot. He's not even in ferocity yet. Yeah, you Ooh, nice, nice. I'll call that a Joey. <laughs> 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 Uh, all right, back to Kabor. Uh, someone want to roll a melee attack on this guy again? You got it. Or are you want to back him up because he's injured? Your choice. Hmm. Charge. All right, go. Go ahead. Just go ahead and just do a five Yeah. Yeah, he has spells. You can like acid splash or something. I can move him. Oh, you got it. Okay, cool. No. Uh, oh. Can you, Can you attack, attack in an five foot step? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll attack with that. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead and roll it. Oh yeah, that's a hit. Is that one? What is it? One, one d six. six. Right, that's a solid one solid. point of damage. Okay. Uh, next would be the orc's turn. Judd is a health back. Uh. Did you heal? He's going to he take you. I did not. Or, uh... Sensing his impending doom with four people right. surrounding him and knowing that he just greatly injured uh, Kabor, he's going to try to make his last stand to take somebody out with him. So he's going to take a five foot step and attempt to take Kabor out and roll a natural two. Nice. <laughs> And then the other guy is going to run, so you can make an attack of opportunity, Justin. Uh, do you have your scythe out? Your... Um, yeah, I didn't put it away. Alright, then yeah, you can make an attack. I have to roll to hit? Yep. First, all right. That's a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, that's the first time this guy's gotten hit. That's some solid damage. Okay, he's still not ferocious, and he's hauling it. Uh, so now we're we're like out of range of uh, <laughs> like the map. So we can we can progress this. Let me. I'm gonna go actually move this guy all the way up top. Actually, I'll just clone his. Let me just clone him. So he's out of range of... Uh, uh, well, I gotta uh, calculate the movement here. Okay, here we go. Alright. All right. He's moved right in front of L6C, if you guys want to move over there on your map. So he's attempting to run into L6C. So I can't get him, can I? Because nope, he's around building. the other corner. That's blows. Okay. Sixty feet of movement, baby. 
the double move. Yes, sir. All right, Jerry. All right, Jerry. Let's go, boy. So we can loot and leave. Yeah. Tickle the last board. With a I can tell you this guy actually has more health than the other guy. <laughs> oh, he's running. Are you going to do something? He's lining up. He's getting his bat ready. Nice. Oh, baby. That's definitely a hit. All right, All right, he's raging. raging. What's, what's, what's your bonus, bro? One, two, one, two. two. I think your strength bonus is plus one, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. He's raging. We're ferocious. Um, uh, next is Cicatrix. Uh, oh, we're in split camera mode here. Go out there and loot the yeah, party. Yeah, split the party. No, I wouldn't pursue Justin. I'll just go back up. Or no, or just rummage the bodies down there that we... You yeah. know what I mean? Just in the heat of combat. I'm just going to stop and check these bodies out real fast. I mean, honestly, I would. We got four guys. I mean, the combat's not very hot right now. It's four against one. All right, you want to check the other bodies? Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll allow one body, so top left or top right? Because the the, both the orcs have been searched. Uh, top left. Can he, is, is the drummer guy right inside the door then? Yeah, the drummer, yeah, the drummer guy would be right here. And this guy's right here. Oh, let's go check him. Yeah. All right, you want to go check him out? Yep. Yeah. All right, so you find a couple things. So he has a masterwork battle axe. He has two throwing axes. Oh my god. Yeah. Um he also has a two scrolls of cause fear. I'll take that. I guess I shouldn't really I you can spellcraft him. I'll just tell you. We'll just save some time. This episode's already going ages. Um one scroll of grease. Two scrolls of remove fear and a wand of cure light wounds with twenty four charges on it. Hooray. As well as one thing of a vial that you don't really understand. It's this weird green vial. Uh what was after the scroll of grease? Um Wand yeah, two scrolls of remove fear. So he has two scrolls of cause fear and two scrolls of remove fear. Oh. And then a wand of cure light wounds with 24 charges on it. So you guys now have two wands. <coughs> As Scott chokes to death. Does anybody, does anybody use the um, uh, Battle Axe? Uh -huh. I don't think so. It's just kind of it, yeah, you, yeah. It's pretty wicked looking. I mean, technically, I think I could, couldn't I? Yeah, uh, I think, I think you probably prefer your falchion, though, to be honest. Okay. Uh, you can do it. You can do a check for the stats later. Okay. Um, well, what, what's the what's the damage? One d eight. Oh, so it's the same as. Mom. Yep. Two D four is actually slightly better because it's impossible to one. If you're doing it statistically. Yeah. Uh yeah, so next would be Lachnali. Um, um I'll touch Jaren again. Yep. So what was it one? One D eight? One D six for early ones? I think it's one D eight. One D eight, yeah. yeah. Holy right. moly, Mr. Right. Healer. Right. That's, that's clutch. Uh, Warlock, you're up. Uh, shoot the guy. 
Uh, which one? The guy like five, ten feet away from you? Yeah. Man, that's some insult to injury right there. Actually, I'll double, double shot shoot him. him. Yeah, hit me up. Miss, I think. What's your bonus? Three BAB and two dex. Ah, oh, that's a hit. <laughs> this guy's AC is garbage. I'm so used to my super awesome guy. Who? That's a miss. I'll go ahead and roll for damage. Four damage. Awesome dex. Yep, four damage. Okay. Uh, core's up. Uh, yep. Uh, I can tell you right now if he hits and does well enough that this might be the final blow. Nope, nope. Yeah, about that. Okay. Um, next is his turn. Um, seeing that you keep healing this guy, he's going to take a five foot step and attempt to hit the guy who just smacked him. With the 21. 16. Let's go, baby. And 10 damage. Fuck, okay. <laughs> oh. Okie doke. And next is Valinar. This guy is not looking well. Come on, Valinar, just... Breathe on him, will you? Roll the flanking bonus. Smart move. Breathe on him. Breathe on him. Plus two to hit. Joey needs it with his natural five. Seven minions. <laughs> oh my god. I can hit you, Joey. What's your, you have, so that's a plus. That's an eight then? Because you already had your plus three, plus two? Yeah, that's yeah. a miss. Man, I fucking are, hate you, Joey. You're the master of misses. Dude, I fucking hate me too. <laughs> Sigatrix, there's one dead orc that fell off from bull rushing that you can check out. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, he's got 15 gold pieces and 20 feet of hemp rope. Okay. And along with the other falchion and all that garbage, that you, as you know. The falchion's still sticking in the ground, in the mud. His armor's all bent up, though, from falling 40 feet. Um, next is Loch Nolly. Alright, I'll take a five foot step. You gonna beat this guy? The final blow? Um, can I draw my weapon? Um, yes, you won't be able to move if you draw it. You have to drop the wand to do that. Um, just drop the wand and pick it back up. Who's that or me? Oh, you can kill him. Uh, I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna make. Back, back, back. Here, here. Does that, does that provoke? Nope. That provoke. Five foot steps don't provoke. And then, and then I will. Wand. Or off. Um. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One d8. Let's see it. All right. All right. You keep in track of how many charges you've used? Because you don't know the total, but as long as you know how many you've used. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we have video evidence. So we can always go back and count. Uh, uh, next is Orok. This guy is real low. I'm going to take a five foot step back and shoot. Uh, I mean, okay. okay. You get a plus yeah. two to hit with if you pull out your falchion. Plus two? Why plus two? F flanking. Oh, okay. Yeah, you quick draw, quick. so you can do it. Yeah, let's do that then. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> wow, this guy is 1v4ing like a god. Bunch of retards trying to hump a door on <laughs> I hate myself. Uh, next is Kabor. Dude, I hate myself. <laughs> Kambor, can you just like acid splash this guy? Yeah, just yeah, breathe literally on that's him, good. Enough. Please, please breathe on him. Uh, roll range touch attacks. So you gotta roll a d20. It's on touch AC though. No, it's ranged. Acid splash. Is, he can, doesn't have to get close. Well, he's still gonna five, he's still gonna five foot. Sure, I actually probably five foot step diagonally backwards so he doesn't get hit. Oh my god, yeah, that's a miss. Can we just say he's dead? No. 
Can I just say you're dead? This is me you're talking about here. It's really not though. It is. I put my heart and soul into this guy. He's 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 going out like a champ. He only has two turns left until he just dies anyways. That's poor. All right, All right. All right. he's up. Right. He's gonna attack Orok with everything he's got. I fucking hate everyone. Me too. Uh, just twelve. Son of a gun. Nah, I can't. I can't hit either. Thank Christ. All right, Valinar, plus two to hit. Let's go. Calling it natural seventeen. Ho! Oh, let's go. Let's go. Roll damage. Just don't be a natural one. No, it's. I get up. One D twenty. You know D twenty is worth the damage. No, that was a crit. Oh, nineteen oh, to twenty is a crit. Yeah. Really? Yep. Okay. Um, that's that not, not confirmed. confirmed. That's not confirmed. So go ahead and roll damage. Thank God. That's enough. Oh my God. You stab God. him in the back, and he dies as Orok watches the life drain from his eyes. And he falls over dead. Yes. Oh, guys, I thought this night was never going to end. <laughs> All, right. All right. Everyone who's on top of the tower, uh, I want you to make a perception check for me. Why do I even... I don't know why I do this. Uh, I got a... Twenty-five. Okay, so two twenty-fives. All right, so you guys, you guys hear that rumble, like that roar again. So you guys move over here to face outwards over the cliffside. Don't, nothing's gonna gank you. I'm not moving you, so you die. This is just for viewpoints. So you hear that, and with a twenty-five, you see a couple things going on. All right, so straight to the north, you see like the the city down on the north side. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you want you want to see like what's going on up there? I'll do that. Sorry. Here, I'll uh I'll move even move your characters who are up here still. Just for cinematic purposes. Oops. I don't know. I don't remember the exact order you guys ran, but. I think this is it, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you guys are looking out over the drop-off to the north side of the city. You see a couple things. So the city to the north is pretty messed up. A lot of buildings are destroyed, burning, things like that. Um, to the northwest, so that's up to the left, you guys see uh, a, a battalion of soldiers, like a small squad, uh, charging at this, like... Darkness, Dark essentially, like they're going out into the forest, and you can see that the very front of that is cursed, leading the way. So you see cursed charging with a group of soldiers uh, to the north. Um, you also see. Let me see. What else? Oh yeah, you guys see a catapult to the northeast launching rocks towards the Hope Spring, which is the fourth. Uh, area, area where the fourth beacon is yeah so it's like a natural pond so you see this catapult that's located nearby then chucking rocks into the north region so they're launching flaming boulders and then you said you got 25 mm -hmm. okay you guys see one more thing so a little bit past the hope spring you guys see coming out of the darkness this huge like 15 foot massive Silhouette, like mm. emerging out of nowhere, and you hear this huge, massive yell as another rock gets chucked from it. And we'll see you in a couple weeks. Good job. You gotta loot the body first. First, in the army, were where? First, now we're heading towards the Hope Spring, right where that big creature just emerged from. So he's charging right into danger. Good luck. Good luck.